Hello! Hello, everybody! I hope I got the timing on that right. Everybody keeps saying that I keep saying things early, so I wait like a weather person. I'm like, thanks, Steve. But I think I did. Hello, everybody! I'm so excited to get back into this. Thank you so much for being here. It's going to be such a fun time. <laughs> See, yeah, the recap. If you missed the last time that we were streaming this, which was literally yesterday, so, you know, then, yeah, basically, we, we made a lot of milky soup that we gave to Celia. We decided we're going to marry Celia. And then, yeah, there was like a story on TV about Achilles tendon, basically. Uh, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it, I think. So, you know, we finished our first month, so we're going to go to sleep. Tomorrow is going to be freaking summer. And what is this like little lab? Ooh, I don't understand. Oh, hey, Charlie. Hello. Come on over. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> oh, it's the blue. Fi oh, my gosh. Back off, Jack. It's mine. Nah, -uh, you said you didn't need it, Ace. Whoa, look at their tiny little tea set on the mushroom. That's so cute. <laughs> and then the giant tomato. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted. These two have been at it for a while. I don't know what to do. We gotta stop them somehow. Yeah, well, I was the one who found it. Finders keepers. But you said you didn't need it, so you gave it to me. Oh my god, no need to fight. I actually am the one with a prospect to marry. <laughs> But yeah, if you give a blue feather to someone you love, something wonderful is supposed to happen. But it won't ever happen if you two keep it for yourselves. Too true, too true. So basically, this is the blue feather that we need to propose to Celia. I'll put it in the box at the front of her house so she doesn't lose it. Fantastic. I'm glad that we've decided to just give it to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, woo. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Marriage is coming. Okie doke, all set. Wonderful. Oh, oh, I'm still. Where am I going? They're <laughs> just skipping through town. Okay. Hey, Charlie, do you get to be with the person you love all the time? No. They live, unfortunately, live like 20 feet away from me. That's so sad. The three of us are always together. That's what makes us so happy. I wanted to spread the joy by giving you that blue feather. Oh, cuties. He just like, he looks like he has like m moon gravity on. He's just like, woo, woo. <laughs> and Amanda, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. I love the popcorn. <laughs> thank you. Okay, we need these sprites to stop fighting. We have things to do. Hey, kid, I was checking around the front of your house and noticed a blue feather lying around there. Those are awfully rare. Where the heck did you manage to snag one? My little sprite friends. <laughs> Back in the old days, they'd give a blue feather to the person they loved to propose marriage. According to the folk tales, if you propose one of those things, you'll be happy for the rest of your lives. Oh, cute. Lady Luck is looking out for me. I'm really glad in this game, you just kind of like find it because in probably my favorite Harvest Moon game. Wait, sorry. Not to be distracted. I just want to. Dang it. No more Achilles tendon for us, I guess. But my favorite Harvest Moon game is uh, Harvest Moon Magical Melody. And in that game, you have to like climb up a... Ooh, climb up a giant mountain while rocks fall on your head just to collect the feather and, and propose to somebody. It's, it's quite metal, honestly. Actually, I changed my mind. I kind of wish that that was how it was in this game. Oh gosh, our animals are starving. So we have Muyo, we have Mari. Uh, let me, okay. We gotta give them some fodder. If you could just move so that I can, if you could, if you could just, okay, perfect. And, uh, whoo. and then we got the milk. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. The seasons in this game are 10 days long. So we've finished the spring. We're going to try and finish the summer today. But I did some I did some studying. I know it's it's so uncharacteristic of me, but I did a little bit of studying because I'm so freaking excited about playing this game. And basically, there's some like wonders stuff. We oop, I didn't mean to milk the chicken, but yeah, there's like wonders that we have to find. 
and uh oh. and there's like a whole list of them there's like i don't know 80 or something i totally forget but we're gonna just try and chip away at those and we're also gonna try and make a bunch more money and we've planted a bunch of melons here our tomatoes are still growing the watermelons are growing i actually think hold on one of the wonders i think is to like look in the mirror can i do this look in mirror i wonder how old everyone thinks i am bet they'd be surprised okay let's look in the mirror again <laughs> i think it's you have to look in the mirror i'm young i'm full of energy i can do anything i put my mind to this is also my internal dialogue when i look in a mirror they say i'm four heads tall only i know who they were that was some wisdom that we've attained but look at that cute as a nature sprite now see that's a wonder apparently to just look in the mirror mirror look in the mirror three times and we have done it that was the first thing i learned <laughs> <gasps> but ooh, ooh, new requests. Okay, tired of only eating our farm's crops. Ooh, Matthew wants a turnip. And Lumina wants quick pickles. What the heck is a quick pickle? All right. Um. Oh, recipe for quick pickles. Okay, I, I assume we have to make like cucumbers or something. But it's still really early. Nobody's going to be awake, so... Uh, I'm actually gonna go I'm gonna get a turnip seed and I'm gonna get I should check what is the recipe for quick pickles oh quick pickles I can't see it I'm gonna assume it's a cucumber and if I'm wrong I'm wrong okay hey. good morning sweet Vesta um I have 48 dollars oh turnip is 20 this is going so well for us so we're gonna get one turnip Give me the turnip. That's another recipe that's literally just one ingredient. Perfect, perfect. Oh, oh shoot, oh shoot. Odds are I don't have the money anyway, but I wanna see how much it is to get the, uh, the pickle cucumber. Ew, why are you doing that? <laughs> it looks so, it's like she just washed her hands and now she's just drying them off. Or she's like trying to cool off the, the watermelon or whatever crop is here. I'm, I'm, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I also can't buy any more seeds from her for some reason. So we're going to go inside. Oh, oh, there's a cutscene. Uh, hey, how are things on the farm? I mean, oh, they're, they're fantastic. They're, she's playing plant bongos. Oh no, <laughs> no. All right. Nice. Good to hear. Yeah, what is this? This is awkward. Anyway, I'm guessing you needed something for me, right? What's up? Um, I don't know. What do you do in your free time? <laughs> this is such a weird conversation. Like hobbies and stuff? That's a good question. I don't know if I can name anything in particular. Well, I guess if I had to choose, I like to hang out at the cafe. Hey, by the way, do you like vegetables? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah, can't get enough of them. Yummy. By the way, can you give me a cucumber seed? Oh, yeah? Then eat as much of them as you can. Most people underestimate how many servings of veggies they need in a day. It's an easy habit to fall into if you live alone, so be careful. Best to mention it before, but vegetables are kind of my thing. So let me know if I can ever help you out. Um, thanks? Is this supposed to be like romantic? Am I supposed to be falling for you right now? Oh, uh, you think so? If you were trying to embarrass me, you did a pretty good job. So I think that's enough compliments for one day. I didn't even... <laughs> what? <laughs> Not that I'm mad. Sorry, I don't really know how to put it. Whatever, you're welcome to visit anytime. Are we swooning? Is that a word? Swooning? Am I swooning? No. That was awful. I, I think we made the right choice not going with Matthew. I hate to say it. Uh, oh. I can't remember what sort of milk I got from you, but it tasted pretty good. All right. Well, thanks so much, Matthew. I'm just going to check the price of the the cukes. Do you have cucumbers? How the heck do you make quick pickles? Huh? What on earth? 
How do you make a pickle? I don't understand. I don't understand. To make quickle. Oh, it's, it's a turnip. You <laughs> use a turnip? What kind of pickles? Okay. We're going to get another turnip seed. In Museum Grackerides, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. And I love the sticker. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can pickle lots of things. I don't mean, I don't mean to be a pickle hater. I don't think that... I guess cucumbers aren't the only thing you can pickle, but just when you say quick pickle, it just makes me think of like a regular pickle, not like a pickled turnip. I don't know. I don't know. All right, take this egg. Beautiful. And ow, ow. Okay. Can I please? I'm literally just trying to access my milky soup. Okay. <laughs> Hi there and welcome. This looks delicious. It's for you. All right, you're sure it's all right? You just made my day. I am so excited. We're going to marry Celia. Mark my words. Did you want to purchase anything? No, 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 no. Okay. Done. Girl, you almost gatekept pickles. I'm not trying to gatekeep pickles. I mean, I know... I don't know. I just, like, I thought that, like... Like, in my brain, I'm like, there's a standard pickling option. But then you can also pickle other things, you know? It's like... It just made sense to me. Like, when you think... When you ask somebody to, like, get you pickles from the store. Or it's like, oh, can you make me pickles? I feel like most people would pickle a cucumber. Also, probably most people would be like, I am not pickling for you. Why are you asking me to pickle things? But uh, they would do a cucumber. And I will, I will die on that hill. Not that I don't think you can pickle other things it's just that i think there's a standard pickle anyway let's stop talking about pickles good morning <laughs> take the milk actually a gherkin isn't that a cucumber i don't know i thought that was the baby cucumber oops oh you want more milk okay Jeez. did i just give two gifts wow Maybe he was just really thirsty in that moment. <laughs> it's like, another milk? Okay, I'll chug it. Thanks so much. Okay, we gotta be giving gifts out. We need people's friendship to be up. I've watched a YouTube video of people trying pickled pig's feet. Hmm. That's interesting. That sounds... I don't even... I can't even imagine what that would taste like. But I do feel like it's very similar where, like... The only other thing, the, the only comparable thing to, to pickles, I think, is like if you say like kimchi, you think of like cabbage kimchi, but then there's a lot of other kinds of kimchi too, you know? <gasps> Whoa, that music scared me. <laughs> I just went like a Mach 10 into that plant. It was like... <clears throat> Nothing's happening though. Okay. Pickles equal life. I do like pickles. I know that there's a lot of people that don't like pickles. I think pickles are pretty yummy. And most people, like pretty much every friend that I have hates olives. And I'm going to say it. I'm, I love olives. I was raised on olives. I couldn't possibly be an olive hater. I spot a Gordy in the distance. All right, let's go. Let's go. Gordy, good morning. Would you like a flower? That is, this is for you. <laughs> All right, this is going well. <laughs> yeah, I thought proper kimchi is pickled cabbage. See, that's the thing is that kimchi is usually Napa cabbage, but then you can also have like cucumber kimchi or you can have like radish kimchi i don't know they, there's a lot of different kinds uh what am i doing oh i'm trying to fish i was like why did i just run into the water that is okay here's another thing i learned to get the upgraded fishing rod we do have to upgrade our tools eventually and to get the upgraded fishing rod we have to like we have to fish a bunch of fish. I don't remember how many it is. It's like 200 or 300 fish or something. So I just gonna, I, I want to try and catch a couple fish every day. I read so many like articles online of like things to do. I was like, mm, okay, okay. Oh, I got a scad. This is so exciting. 
Charlie and Olive Lover, that unsubscribe button is looking real tasty. What if I told you the unsubscribe button is olive flavored? Think of that. Think you think of how you feel now. <laughs> oh my gosh. What if you re-pickle pickles? I don't know. Then it would just be a picklier pickle. I think so. Me thinks. That makes sense to me. Okay, we're getting so many large scads. It's so, so lovely. But yeah, I haven't decided yet if I want to try and get all the wonders. Because like I said, there's a list of like somewhere between 80 and 100 wonders in this game. Which is basically just little like trophies that you get for doing different stuff. I think one of them is actually like catching all the different kinds of fish. And then there's other ones that are like uh it's just annoying things <laughs> like basically progression in a game and i think it'd be kind of fun to do but we would definitely not be able to get them done in like 100 days especially because like a handful of the wonders are literally like getting to years one through seven so yeah depends how willing you are to use a guide i am very willing i am willing and ready as I said, I have studied. Oop, almost like <laughs> impaled Gordy. Okay, and then yeah. And then the other thing I learned is that you should you should give gifts every day because people have a lot of things to give you and say and such. So we're just gonna we're gonna play with those guiding principles. Here's a flower, Gustafa. Yeah. But I think we're doing pretty good. And I also learned that to the... Ugh, it's a freaking rock. Okay, I'm gonna give him a little fish. Oh, wait, what? You can't go wrong with fried fish. Can you take it then? Oh my god, okay. How about a flower? Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't like fish. I thought he liked fish. All right, we'll take the flower. That works too, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll have a little chit chat. It is way too hot. We got to hit the beach. You are not slick and I decline. <gasps> what is, is this a hue cut scene? Oh, it's a rock cut scene. Oh my gosh. Ah, come on. Don't be like that. We're friends, right? Maybe. Look, just hang out with me once. Once, you'll have a blast, I promise. So he's not only simping after me, he's just going for anybody he can get. For real? Man, she's missing out. I always bring the fun. <laughs> Whatever, her loss. Who am I supposed to hang with now? Oh gosh, avert your eyes. I'm not. Rock is such an ick. I hate it so much. <laughs> Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh my gosh. No way. Today's your lucky day. I was just about to go have some fun. And what's more fun than kicking it with a buddy? Wink, wink. I, I kind of want to say hope you find one. <laughs> he is the anti-Rizzler. <laughs> and Kitsu Curry, thank you so much for being a member for four months. I really appreciate it. Haven't been able to catch a stream in a while. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. I'm really excited to be playing this. It's so much fun. But thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, okay. I'm gonna say hope you find one. Or, mm, I really want the friendship points, though. The rose to the friendship points. Uh, I'm gonna say you do have a lot of free time. Free time? Me? Never. Come on, do I look like a guy with a lot of free time to you? I mean, yeah. You look like a guy who's in my way. I love that. It's like the game is coded to make you be rude to him. All right, what do you what do you want? Well, there ain't a lot to do here, right? I thought I could take some time out of my him busy schedule and teach you some stuff about the valley. This is horrific. What's with that face? We haven't gotten to really hang out, you know. May as well take this opportunity to become buds, right, bud? One problem though, I don't have any cash on me or like any money at all. So that kind of limits our options. Okay. Oh, I know. Want to see something cool? Yeah, right now. Come on, follow me. This is horrific. Oh, is it the turtle? What the? What happened here? 
this poor innocent creature is dead? Only a kid could be cruel enough to do this? You ever hear the story about the tortoise and the hare? I bet that's what happened here. This turtle was having a race, all slow and steady, but then some punk kid wasted him right before the finish line. What is going on? He's insufferable and broke? <laughs> yeah, this guy. Has anybody ever married him? Just asking for a friend. Oh, the humanity. Wait, no, the totality. We could have saved this poor thing if we'd just been a little faster. Ironically. Man, what sort of kid would do this? Wait a sec. There's only one kid in the valley. And that's you. <laughs> you. <laughs> the way it flashes to him. He may look innocent, but that kid's a flippin' menace. Can't believe I even live in the same valley as that little freak. What is this? Cutscene is so unhinged. Kids these days think they can act all cute and get away with whatever. I'm telling you, this world's going to heck. Yeah, get away, turtle. I would leave if I were you. Huh? It's clearly not dead, which is the good news. Um, that was it. That was the end of the cut. That was a ride. Oh my gosh. Seriously, if you've married Rock, please let me know. I promise that we I won't make fun of you. I just want to know for science. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here's a fish. Not rock having beef with a literal child? Yeah, I don't know what that guy's problem is. I feel like he needs a hobby or something. Wait, 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 wait. Nina? Okay. I will make fun of you if you marry rock, even if Charlie is too scared to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just don't understand the appeal, if anybody has. But I kind of get the feeling, like... It seems like they they made the cutscenes to present him as the most insufferable human being ever. So they probably knew that people wouldn't really be rearing to marry him. What is this? Some coins are sitting. I wish I could steal them. But that's okay. I also wish I could steal one of these cats. I really want a cat. Good morning, Ramana. It's about time to leave. Okay. A little rude of you. Uh, flower? Milady? There you go. Okie doke. And then, where's Sebastian? The butler. The butler. Oh, there he is. I read online that he likes fish. Wait, 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 wait. I can't take it. Take this fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you catch that yourself? Remarkable. It is a fish, Ellie, yours. Oh, my. I feel like if somebody tried to give me a fish and then went, It's a fish, Ellie, yours. I would be like, you know, never mind. You can have it. I don't really... It's tainted now. And I don't know where Lumina is, but boy, I'm zipping. I forgot how fast I am. Sorry? Alright. I, I give up. I'm leaving. I love how the movement and speed and animations are so fast compared to the original, but NPCs going through doors is still slow as heck. It really is. I don't know why they decided to make me, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm kind of living for it, though. Uh, can I just eat this? Eat? I ate a fish raw. But somehow it was still good and nutritious. Is the fountain the source of Ramana's fortune? That would be kind of funny. I don't know how much money is getting tossed in there every day, but that, that's a good theory. Okay, milk for Chris. Can't wait for the horse. Is the horse... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to be going like Mayo Turbo. That would be amazing. Also, you should marry Rock and divorce him just to show him how worthless he is. 
I actually, unfortunately, do not think divorce is an option. Um, in the last game, like the original, this one is like the remake of the original, but in the original one on the GameCube, you can literally neglect your spouse and just not talk to them or your child or do any farm work. And eventually they'll just divorce you because they're like, wow, you actually suck, which like warranted. But in this game, I, I apparently read online that people have like tried to do the same thing and waited for years and it still still wouldn't let them divorce. So if we ended up marrying Rock, we would be stuck with Rock. And I don't think any of us want that. Like, I don't want to speak for you, but I certainly do not want that. <laughs> Mayo Turbo should be the horse's name. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mayonnaise or Nayo? This channel is tainted by mayonnaise. Hello, Pooey. I'm a big fan of Pooey. And another thing that I read is that you should try and give gifts or not give gifts, uh, donate money to Pooey as often as you can because there's like a tool upgrade or something that wait summer Pooey oh he is summer he has the little lamp flower I didn't realize his hat was seasonal he's so precious I love him so much what the heck well yeah uh my train of thought is is lost but for like a a tool upgrade or something sorry i've been like about to sneeze for like the past two minutes but for to get one of the tool upgrades you need to donate a certain amount of money to pooey which is good to know because i wouldn't have known that oh it's a fiddlehead a spiral herb herb but yeah i'm just gonna hop in here real quick get a recipe and then i want to try and dig up some artifacts because I saw that a list of all the artifacts and there's actually some ooh pickled veggies there's actually some that are worth a lot of money like apparently there's a golden fork or something and if you find that you can sell it for like a thousand gold a thousand gold aroonies wait i have to plant my turnips i realized and also it's too late to dig darn darny darn but yeah, you can sell it for like a thousand gold, which is kind of nutty. Like if we could just get a couple forks, how how amazing would that be? Probably really hard though. Oh, is our orange tree bearing fruit? Give, give me your fruit. I think they're baby oranges. <laughs> I think, okay. <laughs> now I feel bad. Okay, and then I'm just gonna... I'm gonna use this. I'm probably gonna not plant any trees in the next little while. So we'll plant our other crops in this little square. Uh, Pooey would actually be the best husband, not gonna lie. I, yeah, I'm a little bit upset that they didn't give us that option because I would marry Pooey. And imagine how happy Pooey would be, like... I mean, to begin with, like, why does Pooey live, like, in the woods? Like, why is Pooey homeless when I have so many buildings? Like, realistically, if I was, like, as good friends with Pooey as I am in this game, I would be like, yo, I have, like, a storage house. Would you like to live there? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. If I could marry Pooey, I would. But I can't, so I won't. I guess we'll train the dog here. I like training the dog. Oh, the base of the tree will have a yellow highlight when it's ready to harvest. Oh, okay. My bad. I was just shaking that thing for no reason. Just aggressively shaking. Who he is a free soul. He cannot be bound by walls and doors. He doesn't want shelter actually because the shelter can't handle him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Animals inside. Egg? Acqui acquired. Jeez. Alright. Anything else that we have to do? I'm not sure. It's the first day of summer. I'm just kind of frolicking, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um. 
we could i guess fish a little bit in the river because there's different fish in the summer oops what I, what i doing but i think we talked with everybody i believe we'll just we'll get we'll just a couple just three just a handful oh, da, 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 da. charlie do me a favor and at some point try and make a recipe that is egg fish and any vegetable trust me okay i trust you egg fish and any vegetable i guess i would have to get another turnip to do that because matthew's probably gonna take the the, the turnip oh it's still wakasagi interesting hmm let's see let's see who equals linus linus is just like Hui's worst son i feel like like i don't know how how in touch with nature can you be if you don't have a hat that changes with seasons sorry sorry linus i didn't say it oh okay these are just the same fish okay i'm going to bed i'm tired of this yeah i don't know mm -mm. or meat turnip and fish there's so many recipes. I knew it. I mean, the watermelon is not a vegetable. I was going to say, I knew I should have kept those watermelons. But then I was like, actually, no, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Do tomatoes count as fruit or vegetables in this game? That is a fantastic question that I wish I knew the answer to. <gasps> Ooh, curry. Oh, that curry looks so good. Charlie's going to become a gourmet chef after this game. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to toot my own. Ooh. Tomate. Tomate. Okay, now is this a fruit or a vegetable? Will it say? What if I like go in my inventory? Um, darn, it doesn't say. Tomatoes are a fruit? Hmm. Interesting. And everybody like still hates us and i don't know why <laughs> trying so hard for you people <gasps> wait nina loves us okay well this is good i need to figure out how to the soil isn't very fertile how do i fix this do i have to get fertilizer from uh uh vestas i assume that that might be what i need to do the demetrius debate yeah, like technically they're fruits, but I don't, I don't know. It's so weird because in some games they say one thing and then in other games they say another thing. I, I won't open up the debate again. We won't talk about it. I think the field furthest from your house is the most fertile. The one you planted trees in. You're joshing me. Oh, gosh, darn it. I wish I knew that before. Oh, child me was so stupid. I've been wasting the most fertile field this whole time. <laughs> Why? That's okay. We'll live. We'll live. You know, it's it's more it's a better origin story to be like, oh, I I started with the the most unfertile of soil, and from that soil I will create beautiful culinary things. You know, it gives us like character uh okay oops i watered i watered it bad and then we also have to water these oh <gasps> our oranges are looking mighty fine i don't know if they're done though uh, uh, oh they are done they're not done <gasps> they are done whoa I'm going to shake aggressively until they all fall out. Give me your fruit. Oh. <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, we have all the oranges. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to make some milky soup and I'm going to eat one. And then I'm going to give one to my, my wife-to-be. Oh, we got so much. We have eight whole oranges. 
that felt like more when I was shaking it, but you know, I still, I'm still happy about it. I won't complain. Why is milky soup like the only recipe that I know? It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna make four because we need milk for other villagers. Did you decide on Celia? Yes, we did. We did, um... I'm gonna try making herb soup. Wait, what? Make Choose ingredients. Oh, okay, okay. Soup. And then I think you can put this in? Oh, 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 oh. Make dish? Yes. I did it! Herbal soup! Can I eat this instead? It did not that much, but you know, it's better than nothing. But yeah, I did like a poll in the last stream and I just like basically kept it running the whole time. And everybody pretty much unanimously decided on Celia, especially when we... Hello? Hello? Oh, I have to click it. <laughs> Especially when we like spoke with Matthew. Matthew was the other candidate. It was either Matthew or Celia. And we spoke with Matthew a little bit. We got to know him, tried to like process the vibes. And then we ultimately realized there were no vibes and that uh, we did not want to marry Matthew. <laughs> so, so Celia it is. All right. Let's just, yeah, we're eating the bowl and the plate. Everything down the hatch. I don't even know if I need that energy, but that's okay. It's going so well. Okay. I'm pretty sure that the oranges, like the fr the tree fruit that you get, doesn't actually sell for as much as if you like turn it into seeds. But I don't know how involved it is to get the seed maker. Whoop. Sounds like jazzy love music. Oh, it's Gustafa. Never mind. It sounds like normal music. <laughs> I thought, never mind. Mm hmm. I'm on top of the world today. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your little jam sesh. Oh, you got a sec? Of course I do. I'm feeling groovy today. Like every chord I strum is pitch perfect and this weather, nothing better. Okay, glad to hear it. You ever get days like that where it feels like nothing could ever go wrong? Oh uh, yeah, man. Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Haha, <laughs> all right. You dig it? You dig it. You dig it. I, how do, what does that mean? Okay. Good to know there's someone else like me out there. Hey. Since we're on the same wavelength and all, how about I give you the gift of song? You in? Um, okay, yeah, gnarly or whatever. <laughs> I just realized he looks like John Lennon. Oh my god, he's like, imagine all the people. Why am I squatting? I'm so interested. Let's hear a tale before we part. About an apple sweet and tart. With just one bite, they say it might. Grant the wish inside your heart. Ooh. Wait, is it like the crystal apple from Adventure Time? Does anybody know that? <laughs> the one that Tree Trunks wanted? That's a good stopping point for today. I'll let you hear the rest some other time. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. I dig th that. I digged it. I dug that. It has been duggin'. Okay, here is this for the beautiful Tay. Uh -huh, is for you. <laughs> Are you digging it? it? I it was good. I I digged it. The gift of song is non-transferable and is not accepted as currency in most jurisdictions. I wish that I could give the gift of song. Like I could just go down the street like screaming and singing and then everybody technically got a gift. All right, here's your milk. <laughs> that would be really nice. Um, okay, and I saw somebody was saying I you have to befriend Daryl to get the seed maker, and I do vaguely remember that. Like, go, oh, he, I forgot he sleeps until like noon. Relatable. But yeah, I forgot 
it's, it's coming back to me now so i think we should keep working on daryl we have a lot of fish and he likes fish so that's a good start but yeah mostly we're just gonna try and get everybody's friendship up because i think that that's where like a lot of the cutscenes come from a lot of the fun stuff why are nina and gary here huh i'm i'm confused but here you go i bet they're playing like bingo or what is it yeah bingo 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 night yeah they're here for bingo bingo afternoon that's what it is i was like there's something that that people do as they age and it's bingo it's a nice walk i guess up that hill dude you would not find me walking up that hill past the age of 26 i, I tell you i'm not i am not going up that steep terrain Okay, now we got to give a flower to Ramona, Ramana, sorry. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and then I got to say that Sebastian seemed a lot more excited about the milk than he does about the fish, but it said online that he likes fish, so I'll just keep giving him fish. I don't know bingo stream when i think it'd be fun to play like i know that people do like minecraft bingo and they do like bingo in games and stuff like that i think that would be fun to try because i've never done like a bingo thing uh okay here you go take this as you play piano oh no no oh she's conducting with her little umbrella she kind of reminds me of the lady from spirited away oh I love the piano. I used to play it when I was younger. Okay. Did I ask? Sorry, that was rude. <laughs> Please give me a cat. Yeah, she reminds me of the uh, Ba It's not Baba Yaga. It's 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 something else. Yeah, you know not you know Bo. That's Breath of the Wild. It's you Baba. Yes, <laughs> not you calling sweet Ramana you Baba. I'm just saying there's a striking similarity between the two. Baba Ganoush. No, that is not what I was going for. <gasps> Wait, a Gordy cutscene? These are always the most perplexing, so... I'm excited for this one. Sigh. Oh, he's sad. He's sad, Gordy, today. Let's, let's make sure he's all right. Ah, oh, he's now he's sad by the pond. Oh no. Oh, it's you. Are you okay, Gordy? It's nothing. Just artist block again. Okay. <laughs> Plants. Soil. Okay. <laughs> Water. Sun. You visit my farm? What am I supposed to say to that? Like, yes? The tortured artist. He's so... He's pacing. He's dying. A trip to your farm, huh? Hmm. Sometimes it really is that simple. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the help. I might just take you up on that offer. I'm confused about what this has to do with his art. Because isn't his art just literally punching metal? I mean, you do you, Gordy. I don't really... I'm not gonna tell you what to art and what not to. Oh, I forgot to give Gordy a flower. <laughs> His cutscenes are so, like... <laughs> they're so funny. He just stands next to random bodies of water and he's like... Ugh. Soil. That's okay. Why will you not take this? I hate when people are preoccupied and they won't take my gift. Here. What? Okay, fine. 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 We don't need to. Why would your farm help? That is a fantastic question. I don't know. And in, in my opinion, I don't think it would. Would you like a gift? John Lennon? Yes. John always wants a gift. That was very bad posture. You're so right. I feel like Gordy needs 
a chiropractor or something. Oh, we gotta go artifact digging. Gosh darn. Hold on. We gotta give Vesta a gift though. Hey. Oh, help yourself. He's brooding in the fields and wants to succeed in his artistic life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That sounds pretty... That's like on track for Gordy. Okay. And we gotta give Celia her daily milky soup. Where would we be without milky soup? <laughs> I was so pleased with the milky soup. See, I told you. She likes the milky soup. I have eight dollars. Oop. My room's situated in a tiny little attic, but I do enjoy how cozy it is. Okay, thanks for that. Milky soup. Milky soup. Beautiful. <laughs> Not you running on the crops. No, it, it, ma it makes them better because they're resilient now, you see? Okay, Matthew, have this milk. beautiful i love that i just give him the whole like milk can or jug or whatever that is like i feel like that would be kind of expensive i'd be like can you drink it in front of me and then give me give me the container back please that stuff is hard to come by it's made of like steel iron all right let's go to the dig site we need milky soup merch. Oh my gosh. If I had merch for every food related cult that was created on this channel, we would have a lot of food related merch created from a cult. I tell you that. <gasps> Chihuahua. The Chihuahua's here. Oh, it's digging time, baby. Okay. Wait, the Chihuahua. Okay, so if you don't understand why a Chihuahua would make it more important that we dig here which to be fair 100 percent understandable there's actually like special animals in this game we learned last time Ooh, a fossil that are actually it's it's like they increase the luck of different stuff so if there's a chihuahua there's like better luck to like get good artifacts or something can carter please why must you do this yeah you like get some more rare artifacts or something like that it like increases your luck when doing this and there's other ones too there's like a random lizard that increases your fishing luck and there's just like a bunch of them kind of and i don't understand them but i love them i love seeing that little chihuahua i tell you i would love some charlie merch i would wear charlie merch all the time i really want to do merch i just have to i want it to be like super good like i want it to be something that you would want to wear you feel like i don't want it to just be like a logo on a shirt or something and then be like mm -hmm, that's my merch because that's my logo like i want it to be something well thought out oh <gasps> ooh, a pretty gemstone mayo merch yeah exactly something like mayo merch that's like a little more thoughtful <laughs> like well thought out you know <laughs> hello can i dig That chihuahua has a head smaller than a golf ball and I want to protect him. This is fair. I don't know why the chihuahua is so small. And like the cats are so small too. It's like I fear for them. Carter still hasn't learned the concept of personal space. Yeah, I don't know why he's just like walking all over the, the artifact dig spots. Like, I feel like as an archaeologist, you would know better than to do that. Like, imagine if I was in the middle of digging up, like, a, like, a, I don't know, thousands and thousands of year old dinosaur bone, and he just walked over it and snapped it. Like, how would that make you feel, Carter? Aren't you the head of this dig site? Sorry? Okay, I just, so from what I learned in my studying, my intense studying that I did, I, okay, cool, thank you apparently the main things that we're looking for are the like stone tablets we got one of those last time but the stone tablets are like related to the like the lore and the history of like forgotten valley or something so that's like the main thing we're looking for 
but then we're also ideally it would be really nice to get the the gold fork because that's the thing that sells for like a thousand dollars and boy do i need a thousand dollars i only have eight and yeah i think that that's pretty much most of what we're going for but also each year that we play the architect like the dig site expands i keep saying architect the archaeological dig site it like gets bigger so and there's like more valuable things that you can find so who knows it's just it, the the potential is boundless and Aaron, thank you so much for being a member for two months. I really appreciate it. And hello to you as well. Let me just dig this golden fork up for you real fast. Never mind. I didn't say a thing, but thank you. <laughs> Spaghetti merch for Victor. Spaghetti merch to honor the fallen relationship. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll, th I'll have to think if I can find a way to make spaghetti merch at all. Something anybody would want to wear. Ooh, that looks kind of shiny though that looks kind of golden am i making that up do you guys see this please be a golden <gasps> it's the aaron aaron i actually did it i got the golden fork <gasps> i'm gonna be rich oh oh shoot 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 no 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 oh finish digging for the day yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh my gosh very well then, shall we head outside? Oh my gosh, guys, we got the fork! I'm so excited about a fork right now. This is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Please don't take the fork away from me. No, 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 no. Hmm. Yes, nothing of archaeological significance. Oh, that sucks so bad. Yeah, okay. Give it to Pooey. Oh my god, we're about to change Pooey's life. Thank you, small chihuahua. I love you so much. Doesn't even look that much like a chihuahua. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Fork, fork, fork. The golden fork. All hail the fork. Oh yeah. I'm gonna sell this to Van for a zesty profit tomorrow. I tell you that. Don't know why I used the word zesty, but I did. Also, we gotta give some money to Pooey. Oh, we have $8. Shoot. <laughs> Greetings and hello. Okay, I'm, I only I have eight dollars, Pooey. I'm sorry. Just one. Oh, I love this little song. Okay, and we'll also give you a fish. I am I am not rich in money, but I am rich in fish right now. <laughs> Why is the fork important? The fork is important because it's actually like the best item you can get from the dig site. You can sell it for like a thousand dollars, and we currently have eight dollars, so you know it would be nice to have more than eight did we gift nina i don't know she deserves all the gifts so it doesn't even matter you want no we gifted okay okay so i'm trying to remember oh oh oh, oh. daryl 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 do you would you like a coin my good sir and you can give me the seed maker soon, please? Seven. You have seven dollars. Mm, that's very true. We have lost a dollar. And that is a fact. Oh, now listen here and listen good. That thing I got for me the other day was delicious. So I expect you to procure some more. I hope he was talking about like a fish and not a coin because I don't remember. Okay, a little gift for you, Molly Muffy. I forgot about Daryl. Allie, how could you? But Daryl is, is, is like... Actually, no. Yeah, that's totally understandable. I was going to be like, Daryl's one of the best characters in this game. And then I was like, actually, no. Does that man look like he wouldn't eat a penny? You're true. Helps with his iron intake. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Yeah, Daryl would eat a coin. And for you, Nami. Why does she walk like that? I was going to say something about it, but then I was like, you know what? I'll just let it be. But yeah, that was a little funky. I'm going to say it. It was a little bit funky. It's, I don't know. It's kind of like a sassy walk, you know? 
I feel like that's at least what they were going for with it, but I'm not sure that it uh, translated very well. Where's Lou? I haven't seen Lou in like 20 years. Did Rock like hold? Is, she, is Rock holding her hostage? I, I I fear for Lou. That's okay. So that's Pooey, Gary, Dare. Okay, okay. I think we're good. Oh, we didn't milk our cow. Oh my gosh, what fool I am. This is bad, but that's okay. Oh, she might have been in the kitchen. You might be right about that. Now I feel very foolish. I missed the first playthrough. What's happening? I joined and all of a sudden you were starting cults about a fork. Well, in the in the first playthrough to be... Oh, wait a minute. I get the feeling the sheep may be... Oh, that was so satisfying. Thank you so much for that. Well, to be fair, in the first stream, we basically just had a cult about milky soup. So, if anything, you're just in the second generation. <laughs> but yeah, last stream we played all of spring. We got a sheep. We got some chickens. We are basically just trying to, um, like, befriend everybody. Because a lot of the, like, upgrades for tools and a lot of the different cutscenes and cool stuff in the game you get from being friends with people. So that's kind of our main goal. Also, this chicken's name is Ripper, if you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, we got a thing? <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, that's a wonder to find the fork. Oh my, wait, this is how I feel right now. Wait, Bongo smells like sunshine? Okay, this is how I feel right now. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I love him so much. Okay. Oh. oh, hello. Is this a romantic nighttime? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That was horrifying. Oh my god! Oh no! Sorry. Okay, I'm here. Hey, Charlie, the fireworks festival is tonight. Only reason we go through with it every year is because folks are always asking to see our masterworks in action. You'll come and watch too, won't you? Anything for a fellow Charlie. Good. Well, we better skedaddle. That was actually freaking horrifying. This is a horror game. Well, now, since it's a festival and all, you know what that means, right? No? Bah, whippersnappers today. No brains, I tell ya. It's your chance to ask someone out on a date? Oh, couldn't have said it better myself. Now's the time to cozy up to that special someone you got your eye on. Oh, I must say, um, wow, everybody's an option. I, I will enjoy it by myself, thank you. I must say, this game really forces you to get married. Like, what if I just don't want to? But, you know, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, well, obviously we're going with Celia. Oh, I never got modded for streams? I'm so sorry. I do now. I do now. And as moderator. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi there, Charlie. Hey, Celia. I mean, I don't know. Fireworks are so exciting, aren't they? I'm really looking forward to them. This is not a poppin' festival. There's the four of us here. Want to watch them together, Celia? I'm sweating. I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> eee! I'd love to. I'm sure it'll be a wonderful show. I, you know. And it's Sonata. Thank you so much for the super chat. I joined any cuties in this game. This is the cutie. This is the... Not that... Not... No. Celia is the cutie. Oh my god. Everybody... Nobody gathers on the beach. It's just like wherever you are i guess it is like a small town these two small old men are wingmen <laughs> they said young love they really do yeah i guess takakura is the cutie all right folks show's about to start keep your eyes on the skies mommy vesta is a cutie i'm gonna die <laughs> oh my god 
Oh, cute. Last time I saw fireworks, for some reason they were playing music and they played Gangnam style for like 10 minutes. <laughs> so that's all I'm thinking in my head. I wish fireworks shows lasted longer, don't you? Yeah. Gangnam style is only so long. Even so, these were really beautiful. Not as be- Oh, I'm gonna slide in there. Not as beautiful as you, though. Why are my hands not as beautiful as you? Oh, you. Ah, the Riz. Charlie is Rizzed up in this game. Oh my God. I'm crying. Well, should we head home? It's like we're married already. I love her so much. Is she gonna give me a little, a little smooch? Good night, Charlie. Good night. Nope, smoochless. I am smoochless, but I am Rizzed up. I'm also tired. Oh my god, run. That was so cute. I love Celia so much. She ran. She ran. She was like, oh, huh. thank you. Vroom. Oh my gosh. If these two are the best pyrotechnics in the world, I question all the other fireworks shows in the universe. To be fair, I thought they said like in the valley, but I could I could be wrong about that. But yeah, if they're the best in the world, it was not fantastic. It was very standard. You just look at the fireworks and then they stop and you're like, oh, well, that was nice. Is our TV show on? No. Okay. Go to bed. To bed we go. Charlie's got the Riz. Yeah, I kind of pulled it, I pulled out all the stops for that little date. I don't know what Riz means. I just felt my creaky bones <laughs> turn to dust. To be fair, I learned what Riz means like literally three days ago, so it's fine. Yeah, it's 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 okay. I too am old. Is this? No, okay. It was too good to be true. I was like, no shot. The oranges are ready again. All right, we gotta water our Malones. That took so long. I'm so excited. I feel like we're going to marry Celia like tomorrow. Not even kidding. Grab. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to get the fertilizer. I don't know if... Oh, oh wait. Those fields up there look ready to plant things in. Maybe it's just like a time thing. Like maybe I don't have to do anything. They just fix themselves. <laughs> What will be the wedding theme? I don't know. Gangnam style. It's like our first date song now. I like to put Riz in sentences it doesn't go in. That's fair. I like to do that too. I feel like, I don't know. I'm just so bad. Like I, it's so awkward. It's kind of funny because I'll just go up to my friends who are obviously more educated on it. And I'll be like, so uh, asking for a friend, what is a simp? I don't know what is that and then they just like laugh at me and I'm like no I'm 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 being serious I need you to explain this to me it is my job to know these things <laughs> but yeah it's okay at least I have people to ask and then they can explain it to me and then and then I say I still don't get it and then they explain it to me four more times and I'm like you know what I'll just figure it out it's okay in time I will understand what Riz means are you okay? You don't look energetic. You look sickly. What the? I just tried to snuggle you. It really does not seem like Muyo is in a good mood. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. I was so concerning for a moment. Um, also, Muyo doesn't give as much milk anymore, which is upsetting to me. We used to be getting four a day, and now I think we're only getting two. What the heck? She's sleeping. Oh, well, wake up. It's it's 8.20. Rise and shine. I've got the pots and pans out. Uh. Okay, I gotta... Let the animals out. They give less milk in the summer. Wow, the realism. As much as I hate that, I also appreciate it in a weird way. 
Is this food ever going to run out, by the way? Or has it run out and my chickens are starving? I have no idea. Oh, it did it run out? I'm dumb. I didn't <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> wait, let's train the dog. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Set you down here. Do a jump. Do a jump. Woo! Oh, good boy. I love bongo. Cows have milk. Wait. Oh, cows have to have a calf for milk, then they produce less over time. That does make sense. I kind of like the realistic aspect. And I know one thing about this game that like annoyed me as a child, but now I kind of appreciate is that uh, you can get a goat. Oh, the fireworks were impressive. That was cute. Can you take it, please? Yes. Yeah, that you can get a goat and like it produces milk for I think it's a year. And then after a year, it, it like just entirely stops and like runs dry or something. And then it's just like, oh, now I just have this goat. I don't know what to do with the goat. But I think that that's like cooler than just having a, an animal that always gives stuff. Just like add some new mechanics a little bit. All right, take your flower. And now I go. Goodbye, John. <laughs> Goodbye, Johnny boy. Starving animals is a common theme of these farms. Look, cat noodles. How dare you call me out so blatantly <laughs> for neglecting my animals. I am trying my best. Would you like this? It's you. Good morning. Those fireworks at the festival were something else, eh? Of course they were. Cole and I made them. That wasn't even our best work, if you can believe it. I can't believe it. It wasn't that good. One day we'll show you all a firework that'll knock your socks off. That seemed like a threat. Watch. Oh my gosh. Okay, take your gift, I guess. We will always remember Pillow Swine for starving Pillow Swine. Honestly, I forgot. And I think that says a lot about what occurred. I forgot about forgetting. And that's just like, oh. oh I thought he was leaving. I was like, excuse me, please. A flower? Oh my gosh. Why? Why do you do this? Come outside! Gordy, I'm gonna lose it. Gordy will probably punch these sheets of metal into works of art sooner or later. He even sleeps on a metal bed. Why? Why do you live this way? Maybe he like punched the, the bed to look like that and he punched those cabinets to be so perfect, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm kind of like scared of Gordy, I'm not gonna lie. Like he's kind of this contemplative, brooding artist. But then at the same time, I'm like, I, I, I am frightened. Like if he can punch metal, whoa, I just phased through that. If he can punch metal, I fear for me, myself. <laughs> Everybody's talking about the fireworks, that's so cool. Oh, okay. We'll take the fossil. Rune Factory 3 finally arrived today. Oh my gosh. I've played Rune Factory before and I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, you're waiting for Van already. Hope we can both enjoy our days with a smile. I've been to fireworks festivals all over the world, but the one in Forgotten Valley will always be my favorite. Okay. That's definitely a choice that I respect. Here you go. Flower for you. It's weird that they just refuse to acknowledge that he has to be working with fire when there's mortar firework makers next door. I have no idea. I'm scared of the... Like I said, the, that jump scare. They just arrived at my... Oh, 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 oh. This is the doctor. Fish for you. I think he likes fish. Oh darn, does he not like fish? I think he likes fish. I forget. I'm pretty sure because last time I think I gave him like a uh, milk and everyone was like, no, he likes fish. Charlie, have you seen Concerned Ape's new screenshot of Haunted Chocolatier? <gasps> no. What? Is there actually? 
Is this is this true? Okay, take the flower. I would not. I I would not marry Lumina. No offense. It's just she seems like 12 and it makes me feel weird. <laughs> okay, and Ramana, I got a gift for you. There is on Bird app. Oh my gosh, really? I don't use my Twitter like ever. Not now. Is it because she's in a rocking chair? This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Well, I know Sebastian will take my fish anytime. Uh, I don't want to give him the good fish though. Here, have a scad. It is officially yours. Okay, wait. Concerned ape. That is a board game thing. Oh, on a chocolatier scene. I was just having the most terrible dream. Is that grandpa? <laughs> it looks like grandpa. Why is he huge? Oh, it's kind of cute. Oh, good day to you, Forgotten Valley. Van has arrived. I wonder if he has any of the like tool upgrades or anything yet. I don't know. <gasps> oh, that was so scary. What the heck? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. These people make it so hard. Why is he just standing there? All right, take the gift. Lumina was not an option for GameCube. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's why I feel that way, but it just feels like they did not have to do that. We already have the perfect bachelorette candidate. We don't need, <laughs> we don't need anymore. <laughs> All right, Van, let us, let me see your wares. Okay, welcome. I want to, oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Well, I'll, 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 I'll sell, I'll sell. So here's the thing too I learned is that you can, oh, <gasps> Okay, golden fork. And then large scad. And then, wait, wait, wait. My large wakasagi. Uh huh. This random ore. All oh, the milky soup goes for so much. Okay, and then the milky soup. Uh, I guess I could sell some tomatoes. Wait, I'm going to sell six of them. I'll keep three just in case for recipes. And I'm going to, I don't really use these. So I'll sell six of these too. Uh, oh, wool for 3,000. Pooey, I'm going to have a generous donation for you today. Whoa, how was that? 3,000? What the heck? Okay, and then sell. And then he's gonna say, Oh! 6,200! And I'm gonna say, mm, No. And then he's gonna say, I thought that's how the haggling worked. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, he has a little summer blue outfit. That's kind of cute. What? I thought that's how the haggling worked. Hello? Try it again, it's random, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the one of the features that I think is pretty cool about Van is that you can actually like haggle. So you can give him a bunch of stuff, and then if he doesn't give you a price that you're satisfied with, you can say, mm, no thanks. And then he'll be like, whoa, 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 how about this price? And then you're like, okay, thank you for your extra money. But that time he was just like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Which was not exactly what I wanted. You can haggle it buying, not selling? Really? I thought you could. I saw it online. Hold on. Sell. And then I'm going to say, no, I changed my mind. Okay. It, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to sell it. It's, it doesn't seem like he's going to, he's going to go for it. Also though, 6,200 is nothing to scoff at. That is a lot of money for us. And we're going to need a lot of money because... Uh, we're trying to get the upgraded buildings, but we're also trying to just get 
enough for upgrades in general because i think that the uh tool upgrades get pretty expensive as time goes on so i kind of want to start preparing for that but yeah we'll just sell this sounds good to me oh you need to be good friends oh okay weird whatever i guess we're not friends that's fine van no 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 it's fine let us fix that would you like a fossil or no maybe he wants milk no 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 the the milk is f for you wait i'm confused <laughs> what <laughs> hold on fossil oh it's because he's selling okay i've wasted so much time looking at your face today get away from me oh he loves eggs okay i'll give him an egg when he's not in the middle of working and let's see we already gave a gift okay okay uh, so we have a lot of money yeah i think i should invest in more sheep that was what i was gonna say i think that that's probably the best way forward let me just give a gift to molly first oh my god that walk okay there you go and oh i have to make more milky soup you know we can't forget our milky soup we got <gasps> celia's up there my love we have to give milky soup to celia today uh yeah that's sheep wow that was a lot of money what the heck a working get rich quick scheme oh shut it <laughs> no yeah this is gonna be really good i think can be bred with used ones fully oh i don't remember if i got i don't remember which one i got but i should probably get the opposite shoot I think I can check in here. If I go here? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I have to get the one that can breed with the ewes. I think, right? Yeah. And then it'll make baby sheep? Breed with... Okay. I get so confused by the symbols. I don't even know. I'm just like going based on words. Okay, place the feed bin. I am sure I would like that sheep. And we could get another sheep. You you bought a sheep for the same price you sold one item of wool for. That seems mad. Yeah, that's kind of broken, honestly. Uh, I kind of feel like we should get another sheep. I don't really know. Like, if we get two sheep and then just shear them once, that's amazing. Or we could get a cow. Because there's... I read online... Ooh. Oh, I can only get one at a time. Okay, that totally makes sense. I think we should get more fodder too. We should get fodder plus. Or no. Wait, yeah, we should get fodder plus. Wait, no, I think we need regular fodder. I don't know. Because I think the other one is a treat. And I'm just going to get like 15. Oh, this is not going well for us. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time with this menu right now. All right. I think that getting a sheep, getting a little bit more fodder because we're going to have more stuff. Uh, Charlie, you were looking for fertilized eggs, but do you have a rooster? I think I do. I thought I got the... the it was like a male chicken and it said that you needed it for fertilized eggs, but I didn't know... There's no like rooster option, I don't think. I think Ripper is, is the rooster. It kind of looks roostery. It has like a little head spike thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think... Ooh, what's this? Tiny wallet. Obtained a total of 10,000 gold. That's that's a tiny wallet? It took me so long to get here. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Male chicken don't lay eggs? Yeah, I think that the male ch having a male chicken, though, makes it possible so to get a fertilized egg from the female chicken. And then when you do that, you can get more chickens and you don't have to actually pay for them, which would be just lovely because chickens are a little expensive, kind of. We're going to make three milky soups for our dearest Cecilia. Beautiful. And then... Yeah. Basically, I think we just have to... Yo? Hello? Charlie, we need to talk about your shipments. Oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? No, 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 bad dog. What? Molly? 
Get her, Bongo. Never mind. Hello. <laughs> Bongo's like, Sally. <laughs> oh, Charlie, your dog scared me half to death, barking like that all of a sudden. It, it, that's what dogs do. I'm sorry? I entered its territory? What in the world does that mean? Excuse me, it marks its territory how? What, what is going- Molly, do you know things? M Bongo doesn't like her walk either. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry. I interrupted a conversation, didn't I? I think I've made him angry. I was gonna say, he kind of always looks angry. I'm just gonna say, nah, it's all good. Well, that's a relief. Oh, uh, so why are you here? Huh? Oh, um, I just wanted, uh, something. Yeah, something. Okay. Thanks for having me, sweetheart. I'll see you later. Okay, I hope you got your something. Goodbye. Molly knows nothing about dogs. Yeah, that was alarming. I'm like, you don't know that dogs pee on things to mark it as theirs? I thought that was just like a... That's just kind of a, a thing that people know. I don't know. I guess not. If you never had a dog. Well, that was fascinating. Okay, so let's give gifts. Molly is simping. Yeah, sorry. I'm taken. Oh. <laughs> it's taken into a cutscene. Oh. Ba -ba -da -da. Do, 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 do. Hey there, friend. How's life treating you? All right. The rolling riverside is real peaceful, yeah? You picked a good spot to hang out. What's the matter? Nothing. You want something from me? Hurry and get to the point. Oh my gosh. Don't be mean to John Lennon. Oh man. Someone ruffle your feathers? I wouldn't say that. Your face is looking a little red there. Maybe you've got a fever. I think it's the hair reflecting. <laughs> it's the light. Come on. Lay off already. Oh. Okay, <laughs> suddenly just very loud river noises. I'm leaving. Uh oh. Hey, Nami? Oh. Imagine all the people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take it easy, all right? Okay, I'm kind of living for their their like their romance arc though. Why are they kind of cute? Like it's like they make no sense, but then because of that, it makes the most perfect sense, you know? Trample the crops, trample the crops. Oh, no answer. Shoot. I have things to give. We'll have to find them. If Gustafa is Lennon, who is this Yoko Ono? I think we realized it's Nami. <laughs> oh no. Also, if I saw the question, if Celia was a Pokemon, I think she would be a like a Beniri. Just like a little cutie, you know? Ah. That just makes sense to me. Hello, Pooey. The river holds many swimming fish. So many fish. Yes, it does. And uh, here is one of those fish for you. Now that I have money, I need to donate more to Pooey because I think you need something like 2,000 or something. If I'm getting that right. And we definitely have only donated like 100 <laughs> at the very most. So it's going to be a long road. A long and winding road. <laughs> Sorry, I'll shut up. Okay. Take this flower. You, okay, you are effectively saying no by not taking it, but that's fine. <laughs> My heart's pounding just like it was at the fireworks festival. Were they that exciting? Or maybe because you were... Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, the Rizzler strikes again. Here, take the soup. Okay. Perfect, perfect. I bet we're like full hearts. I don't mean to be presumptuous, but I did kind of lay it on thick at the, at the festival. <laughs> All right, we farmers can get persnickety about certain things. Pyrotechnics must do that too. What does persnickety mean? I don't know. 
I still don't like her hair curl. Stefan, how dare you? The hair curl is so adorable. Tell me if I'm wrong, but Vesta looks like a thunder type gym leader. Is that just me? Just like the hair for some reason. It screams to me like I am a thunder type gym leader. <laughs> it just looks like a thunderbolt. It makes so much sense. All right, I got to grab my recipe. Did you see it? A bunch of flowers bloomed in the night sky like bang. It was super pretty. That is called a firework. Can I have a recipe, please? I cannot. A whole bunch of flowers bloom in the night sky. All right, that's fine. I see it. She totally does, right? It's just like the character design. It just makes so much sense. And ooh, something else that I haven't done yet that I wanted to do is uh, I want to fish. You can fish in the turtle pond, but I actually haven't done it yet. So I wanted to do that because there's obviously different fish in there. You want this? You can't just carry that around. You're going to break it. Okay, you're like the third person to say that to me. And I don't know why people don't trust me with eggs. Oh, there's like a party at the beach over there, though. I don't know. I need to give Van an egg when she, once he uh, deconstructs his little shop. But I also need to befriend Daryl so that we can get the seed maker. So let me stop in here real fast. A coin for you. Wahoo! All right. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Go egg rock. I don't know what that means, but go egg rock. <laughs> okay. And then we got to give milk to Chris. Here you go, Chris. Where does Daryl sleep in that shack? That's a fantastic question. And I don't know the answer. I'm scared to know the answer. Uh, okay. Let's go fish at the little pond. Ooh, Flora's there. I like Flora a lot. I think Flora's a cute little character. Okay. Fish. He looks like Professor Oak, but evil. He looks like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. And... I can't unsee it. Every time I see him, my head just goes like, Fairy the platypus, like every single time. Oh, a little bucket mouth bass. That's such a cool fish. Now, is this game available on Switch? I, yes, it is. I am playing it on the Switch. And it's lots of fun, I think. I was like, somebody in my Discord, I forget who. I have such a bad memory, but somebody in my Discord was like talking about the game and saying like, oh, like, I don't even remember what it was, but basically it's just my favorite thing about the game. I feel oh, 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 Van is done Van is done. We got to go give him an egg It's like it's very it's nostalgic for me. Obviously, I like like some of the retextures I think look really good, but like my favorite thing is that I don't have to be thinking about whipping out the GameCube. I can just like you know play it on the switch which is fun i like playing games on the switch i have a particular weakness for that exact thing well ha have the egg then really does like eggs a lot i feel like i've never tried to give somebody something and they're like i have a particular weakness for that daryl does not sleep he is fueled on rage you know that tracks I didn't see Matthew today. I don't know where that guy is, but that's fine. Let us water the cow, ma milk the cow. Oh my gosh. Can I please? Oh, <laughs> he gives me Gaston vibes. He kind of does. I can, I can see that. He's done. <gasps> shika, shika. Ba -da -da -do. That was so many oranges. Hello? Give me more. Oh, I think it's done now. It's blue. Wait, did we water these? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Wait. I'm going to be so devastated if the answer is no. <gasps> oh! 
Water the cow and milk the plants. Yep, just gotta milk the plants really quick. Forgot to do that this morning, apparently. Matthew gives edgy Zuko vibes. I don't want to, like, completely discount what you've said because I understand why. But Zuko is just so much better, <laughs> you know? It's definitely a similar vibe, but... Zuko just has so much more life and energy and Matthew is just kind of like a sad little vegetable man, you know? He's just like, oh, I, I grow vegetables. If you if you want to know how to grow a vegetable, come ask me, you know? Eh. I love Zuko so much. Matthew is the worst. I feel like that's... When I was doing research online, I saw that it seemed as if the entire community... Like, the whole story of Seasons Community really just banded together to be like, Matthew is honestly the worst ever. Which is too bad. I feel like that's my one thing, is like, I really enjoy the game. And like I said, it's very nostalgic and stuff, but I definitely think after all this, this time, after all these years, like, it's a remake, but you could have, like, improved things a little bit. Or at the very least, like, if you're gonna add in the male bachelors and stuff like that, it would have been cool if they made the cutscenes a little better or like worked on the dialogue, you know, honor vegetables, same difference, really. You're so right. You're so right. It's Itsuko. I don't know. I just, it really felt, I'm going to say it, that rock cutscene that we were in really felt like it, I, I don't even... I cannot imagine what was going through their head when they wrote that one. Like, what? But I still enjoy. Am I going to die if I try to do this one? One more. You can do one more. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Run. I didn't get an egg today. What on earth? Okay, I guess I just don't get an egg. I don't know why. We gotta go to bed. Um. Hmm. Okay. I have to save every night because as a kid, I like forgot to save at one point and then I lost a bunch of progress. So now it's just force of habit. Like I cannot go to sleep without saving beforehand. Oh, it's Muyo. Such a cutie. All right, please tell me Summer's Love is on. Dang it. Did they cancel Summer's Love or something? Why do they always cancel the best shows on television? I hate that. Okay. We're going to start off by watering these again. I know. It's just so exciting. Just the best thing. But imagine, these... Watermelons are going to finish growing and then we're going to get so much money because last time they sold for so much. I forget exactly what it was. I don't want to be wrong, but I think it was like 90 gold per watermelon or something. And I mean, you do the math. Look at how much 90s that is. <laughs> it's going to be great. And hopefully our sheep comes soon. I wanted to get a second sheep. Or I guess like our third sheep, but a second new sheep. But I haven't been given the first one. You have to water twice a day in the summer? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. I think honestly, when I played farming games as a kid, um, I never really focused on the crops, which is kind of why I don't now. <laughs> Where like in Stardew, and like other farming games, you get most of the money if you just like plant a, a buttload of crops and water them every day and sell them. But for me, that's so like non-intuitive. But then when I played, did like the Stardew thing that I was talking about the yesterday, I just grew a bunch of crops and sold them. And I was like, wow, why have I not been doing this all along? I just got so much money. So crops are the way to go is the moral of the story. Did I? I didn't put my animals in last night? Well, that's no good. And I only got one freaking milk. This is bad news. Uh, I'm gonna put this in here. 
Okay. When you get the second, can you breed the two you have? I think you actually can, but I, it, it, I'm i pretty sure it takes a while. And if we have one of the sheep like giving birth, we won't be able to get wool from it, which would kind of suck. But if we could save up enough money to get like two pairs of sheep and then try and get another baby sheep by breeding one pair, that might be good maybe, because then we could still get three. It's like 9,000 per like week or whatever. But I'm not sure. Ooh, I got to put my oranges in, in the store. Store oranges. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Perfect. It's all going so well. Obsessed with the cow. Muyo. I'm obsessed with Muyo. I love Muyo so much. But oh my gosh, we're almost halfway through summer already. It's summer four. The time, it just flies. It's flying. And there's no turtle here. I don't know where the, the animals are. Oh, I should probably check if there's a chihuahua after I give out some gifts because I want another golden fork. That was just such easy money. Okay, here's this. This is for you. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day, Gordy. You punch that metal. Muyo is perfect in every way. I agree. Muyo is a little sweetheart. Okay, we got to give a gift to Gustafa. And something else I think that I learned about the game while I was researching is that the friendship doesn't decay. So if we can get people to like the red area where we're like super good friends with them, then we can, I think, just stop gifting them forever, which would be the ideal scenario for me is to just never have to worry about it. <gasps> Nina! It's really upsetting and sad, but Nina is our first like full friend. I don't think even, yeah, even Celia is not there, but we almost have full hearts. <gasps> Wow, that's so exciting. I'm having a fantastic time. Nina, my love, I know. I love Nina. Hey. All right, here's your flower for the day. I kind of am in love with the Gustafa Nami cutscene. I thought that was kind of precious. I don't see an animal at the lower end of the river. So I think it can be there too. Oh, oh, oh. What's this guy's name? Sussy or Sully or something? Sully. That's such like a weird name. I don't know. I have no idea. Like, has anybody ever met a Sully besides the Sully from Monsters, Inc.? I sure haven't. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Maybe Sully's a very popular name. That just seems random. And an egg for Matthew. Oh my gosh. Oh, why does he have to ask every time? He's like, oh, is that from your farm? It's like, I have told you that the thing I am giving you from the farm, I have, I have said that every day since we met. Every milk and egg I give you. Okay, should we purchase more... Mm. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just going to give some milky soup. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, that is... Yeah, like S S Sullivan. Sullivan. But usually that's like a last name, I feel. Like John Sullivan. Sullivan. I just feel like that's not like a first name, but I just haven't met anybody. Ooh. With the first name Sully Sullivan. Wait, I gotta read the diary. <gasps> Five red hearts? Cecilia. Cecilia, Cecilia, you shouldn't have. Oh! Stop, we're not having a Matthew cutscene when I'm about to get married to Celia. Okay, dot dot dot. He's contemplating vegetables and his honor oh it's you 
Sorry, I was lost in thought there. Okay. Huh? You want to know what I was thinking about? Vegetables? No, I don't want to talk about it. I can't. Please? I don't want to like, beg. Why is there no options that's just like, okay. Oh, I said no. You'll only make fun of me. I'm not going to make fun of you at all, ever. I would never do that. My name is Sully? Oh my gosh. Well, I know one Sully, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Fine, but don't you dare tell anyone else. Okie doke. Yesterday? Matt! Cece. Oh no. Not my wife. Transform. What? Ah! And that's what happened. Sorry? Can you give me a play-by-play -play of what that- Wait, so what? Cecilia called your name. And then you were like, Cecilia. And then she transformed into... Okay, we're gonna stop asking questions. And that's what happened. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> Don't you hate when your sister transforms into the person that helps around the farm? God, I hate that. Only an idiot would get all hung up over a dream like that, huh? Should I go, ha 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 ha? That's my wife. Not at all. Oh, really? That's pretty reassuring, actually. Wasn't expecting anyone to care about my worries. Thanks for being such a good listener, Charlie. Here, you should have this. Please let it be a vegetable. Turnip, turnip, turnip. What the frick is that? See ya. What? Did he just pull an iced coffee? What is this? How was that in his pocket? What did I just get? That was such an... Veggie juice? Of course it's veggie juice, Matthew. Oh my god, with the vegetables. Shrimp cocktail type beat. I know, I was like, is this like a... Like a... Is this a shrimp cocktail? Is this an alcohol cocktail? Is this an iced coffee? I, d I don't understand. <laughs> oh, Chihuahua. It's a Chihuahua day, everybody. Let's get another fork. Ooh, I see something interesting in that one. What is that little artifact? Ooh, okay, okay. Let's dig. There's one in every... <gasps> is Matthew okay? I hate to say it, I don't think so. Oh, it was the statue. Dope. Yeah, I think Matthew needs real help. Don't mind me just carrying a bar in my pocket to give veggie juice at a moment's notice. Veggies are just kind of his thing. Like, he doesn't talk about anything or like... I don't know, do anything else. He just thinks about vegetables and apparently Vesta transforming into sea. I still don't understand that. Is that like, like, was he trying to say that like he was daydreaming about Celia and then he realized that he was like projecting onto Vesta? Because that's also like makes me feel weird because we're both going after the same person here. Like, stop telling me about how like how much you're simping over my my future wife. Like, hello? Don't care. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's V8 pocket juice? I'm gonna say another thing controversial. I really like V8. <laughs> I don't know if other people like V8. Every time I say I like V8, people are like, that's literally just tomato soup, but cold. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's different. It's different. What if he poisoned the juice to take you out of the competition? Becky, I feel like you're onto something. Wait a minute. I'm not eating this juice. That just seems like something Matthew would do. Oh my, this artifact is so deep in the ground. Oh my gosh, V8 is good and good for you. It's veg- oh my gosh. Other people like V8? Wow. I don't know, apparently, I don't know who I'm hanging around with that are making fun of me for drinking V8. We're all healthy in this chat. We all love V8. Give the juice back to him. It's like that scene in Princess Bride. 
And then I give him the poison and then I've taken out the competition. Oh, that's her brother. I think actually Matthew is Vesta's brother, but I think that he's completely unrelated to Celia. I used to think that it was like a niece type of thing. Like, uncle. I don't, I don't know what I thought it was as a kid, but I, th th they're not related. Apparently she just kind of works there. Give me another fork, please. I want another fork so bad. Oh, that's not a fork. That's okay. We're getting so many gifts for Daryl and Nami right now. Think of how happy they'll be. I thought he and Celia were siblings, but now I'm in denial about it. I don't know. Because I also think that, like, even if they're not like blood related it still feels a little bit weird because it's like she is so much younger and like works there i don't know it feels kind of weird like if i had a, like a brother who owned a farm and did farming things and they hired someone to work there that was a lot younger than me i don't i would not i don't know it's a little ick which is another reason i don't like matthew <laughs> I just had to fight for my life against a massive daddy long legs. I am, you're in my prayers. I am so sorry. Uh -huh. And thank you so much for hanging out, Suki Watcher. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh. Please be a fork. Please be a fork. It's not a fork. Okay, I'm going to try until five how's the babies um they're still chilling honestly they're I, they might not be babies anymore i feel like they're growing steadily but with the growth mean it means that they disappear yeah i don't know i just kind of like ignore them i'm like you know it's okay. They can do what they're, they're doing their spider things and I'm doing my human thing and we can coexist. What am I about to dig up right now? What is this thing? Hello? Oh, it's just a coin? Why did it look so good? It looked like a, like a gem or something. I don't know. Do, do, do. Okay. I just want a coin. I mean, a, a fork. So, ugh, dang it. Now I'm going to get a coin. <laughs> if you post a pic in Discord, I could tell you what kind they are if you if you don't know. I don't really know if I have... Like, I could take a picture. They're so far away. I assume they're just like little, ba little babies. I don't know. It's impressive that you could tell that, though. I don't know anything. I feel like I know a daddy long legs, and then every other spider feels the same to me. <laughs> I'm like, daddy long legs? Uh, th uh, the other kind of spider. Okay, I'm going to dig four more times, and then I'm going to give up. One. Two. Please let there be a fork. Nothing. I guess that fork was just a fluke. All right, I give up. I am finished digging. But we did get a lot of good artifacts that we can give to other people, which is in itself a reward. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I raised tarantulas. Why do so many people raise tarantulas? That seems like cool, but really kind of scary. But it's like, oh, they're, they're cute. I don't know. I feel like I haven't met it. Well, hey, Charlie. Takakura left a note in the living room if you want to take a, no a look. Why are you in my house? I'm so confused. I brought you a new animal. Check the barn when you get a chance. Okay. <gasps> Our sheep is here. What do we name the sheep, everybody? Do not say tarantula. Okay, it's going to be named Tarantula because I said Tarantula, so, but we'll be fine. <laughs> what do we name the sheep? 
Floofles? Oh, Floofles is cute. The first one that I see three times, we'll just name it. Floofles. I think Floofles is cute. Muffy. We just have a sheep named after one of the, the bachelorettes. Long legs. Oh gosh. I have two Floofles. Three Floofles. Four Floofles. Oh my gosh. Long legs was almost the name. We can name the next one <laughs> Long Legs. Floofles. Now we have Mareep and Floofles. It's so cute. I do approve of Floofles. It seems like everybody approves of Floofles. McGregor. We just name one sheep Ewan McGregor. Just in honor. All right, let's see. Can we milk Muyo yet? Nope, nope, nope. My bad, my bad. Oh, Floofles is so cute. Mareep and Floofles are going to be the best of friends. I can tell. Okay. Floofles M MacGyver. <laughs> oh my gosh. The full name. Okay, am I, is it just me or am I have I not gotten an egg in like a decade? Oh, I just got an egg. Okay. Never mind. I take that back. Is this fertilized? <gasps> fertilized egg. Fertilized egg. The egg will hatch in a few days. <gasps> thank you guys so much. That's why it was taking so long. Thank you. Thank you. That was so Ooh, that's so exciting. Oh, wait. Obtained a total of three animals. Awesome. And we got more fodder. Wait, we have to train our dog to jump. Hold on. This dog isn't going to know how to do anything except... Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, cutie. I don't really, like, understand the training aspect of the dog. Ooh, wait, we're full hearts with Celia? What the heck? Can I propose? Should I go try to propose? I forget how the proposal system works. Oh, oh, wait, we have to donate to Pooey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you go anywhere. Greetings and hello. Here's a hundred dollars. He's so cute. What the heck? You enjoy that, Pooey. Oh. Thanks for loosening your, your purse of coins. No problem. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, the meal your kindness gave me was very delicious. Oh, I'm glad to hear. What is that noise? Oh. Hopefully nothing got messed up. My computer just said that my OBS reconnected. So hopefully we're good. I have no idea. She already has a blue feather. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one from the, the sprites. He looks so much better than the original. Yeah, the people that played the original game, no. We lived through Murray so that we could have poop Pooey. I almost called him Poopy. I'm, I'm sorry. Not that Murray was, like, bad, but, like, the, the, like, stink marks were a little excessive. They didn't have to go that far. They didn't have to do Murray like that, you know? Uh, Hugh. I mean, Sully. <laughs> I don't know why I just called him Hugh. Murray was pretty bad. Yeah. I also feel as if Murray stole my food, like, exponentially more than, than Pooey. Like, Pooey hasn't even taken a single thing yet, but it felt like every single night, Murray would be rifling through the stock. Oh, oh. Oh, no, no! Oh, gosh, I... <laughs> no, I didn't mean to... Take the fish, take the fish! Okay, that, I did not... That is not what I wanted, but it's fine. Would you like this flower? tragic i know i don't know i accidentally got my my hand caught on the headphones and then suddenly i rejected the fish and i don't know how it happened matthew do you want to watch me propose Esther puts more love and care into her crops than anyone i know that's why all our produce tastes so good 
Oh, cute. Okay. Where's my... Oh. Celia. Oh, Matthew. Perfect. Would you like to watch? Celia. Marry me? Is that blue feather for me? Sure is. Matthew's like, what? What? <laughs> you really mean it? This isn't a dream, right? Oh, wow. Do you have a moment to chat, Charlie? Mm-hmm. Anything for you, honey. <laughs> I can't believe this. A real blue feather. Oh, it's our spot. I'm still holding it. I'm like, please take this. <laughs> I always wanted to be proposed to with a blue feather, but never thought it'd really happen. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. My father proposed to my mother with a blue feather, actually, but they're so difficult to come by that I'd never heard of anyone else doing the same. Oh my gosh, proposes to Celia and she turns into Vesta. I would die. I hope not. Actually, I'd be okay with that. My lifelong dream finally came true, and it's all thanks to you, Charlie. I'm so delighted to be yours. Ah! She's so cute. <gasps> we're married. We're married, Gustafa. All right, we're engaged. I hope Matthew enjoyed the show. Also have this coin, Daryl. <laughs> keep the tradition going it's so cute i love that like that is my favorite thing ever as a kid i was like oh that's so romantic and cute but now i'm like i feel like that'd be like a little unsanitary maybe just a random blue feather you found on the ground still cute though nice find okay oh my gosh i love her so much Nah, nah, nah. Lou, Lou, Lou. Oh, she's going inside. There's no way. Okay, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. I just want to get married. I'm so excited. I also feel like th I did not realize how much they push marriage in this game. Like, I feel like, I mean, I, I totally understand. It's like a huge part of the like progression in the game. But I also think i don't know it'd be kind of cool if you like didn't have to <laughs> like if you could just not if you don't want to but we need milky soup to celebrate you're so right you're so right my two-year wedding anniversary was yesterday oh my gosh congratulations cindy that's so cute that's awesome <gasps> episode two we missed episode one what <laughs> Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can dive back in. We can dive back in. Space date. Three eights. Oh my gosh. Our journey aboard the starship exercise has encountered an unexpected hindrance. Captain Sickard. What's going on? Crew member A. Captain, the engine stalled all of a sudden, but I can't determine the cause. Uh, no. Has cruel fate brought us to the intergalactic graveyard? Captain, it's terrible. All our rations have mysteriously disappeared. We need to get to the bottom of this quick, to the engine room. There's some sort of strange creature stuck in the engine. Greetings and hello. Have you any more food? I would be most happy to eat them. Wait, they have pooey on their spaceship? No way. What? An intelligent life form? If you have no foods, then I would like Muchly to go back home. Oh my god, why is this space creature from like Newfoundland? <laughs> I would like Muchly. Where did he come from? A stowaway from the planet of the giants? A what? Get him out of here. I want him off my ship now. We vowed never to speak of the whole affair again. Well, that's not Summer's love. That was boring. Ba 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 boring. Whoa. <gasps> hee hee. <gasps> it's Celia. Oh my god. I love her so much. Oh my gosh. Oh. She's so cute. And she's not like Molly, who's like, what is this creature? What is this fuzzy creature? Why is it making that strange scream? Ah, wait, it pees? Oh my gosh. She's just like, oh, dog, cute. Love that about her. Hi there, Charlie. Hi. Hello. I came to see you, but I happened to run into Takakura on my way over, so I thought I'd stop and say hello to him, too. Considerate? 
After all, uh, when you and I get married, I'm sure he'll be around a lot, right? Yeah, he's, we're kind of a package deal, honestly. Like, you marry me, but you're also kind of like Takakura's your dad, kind of. It's just the way it is. Figured this was the perfect opportunity to get to know him better. She's so sweet. Celia's a sweet gal. You found yourself a good one, kid. I know. Love. Looks like Bongo wants to welcome you to our little family, too. Hehe, <laughs> Bongo's approval is very important. I'm glad. Oh. I love. I love. Anyway, I should be getting back. The crops ain't gonna take care of themselves. Do you water my crops? I don't think you do. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so precious. What the heck? <gasps> Hello? Hello? Welcome to my house? I did not clean? Oh, she's so cute. I'm sorry for dropping by out of the blue. It's just, when I started thinking about living on the farm together with you, I got so nervous all of a sudden. It's okay. Look, we, this is where I watch Summer's Love. That's my bed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's everything about me. Oh, and since we'll be living together, maybe we can remodel the place a bit. For example, uh, maybe we can get a bigger table. What's wrong with my table? <laughs> I mean, sure, but what's wrong with it? Or a bigger kitchen. Oh, that reminds me. Would it be all right if I brought a few of my kitchen things from Vesta's? My goal is to cook more often so you'll have plenty of good meals to eat after we're married. Farm work takes a lot out of a person, so I hope to be able to cook you lots of tasty meals that give you the energy you need. Okay, cutie. Oh, and... We only have one bed. I'm not gonna say that. I'm glad you're looking forward to it. Oh, the music stopped. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away, aren't I? No, 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 I love this. This is great. Anyway, we've got to make sure we're prepared. We can talk more about the smaller details later. I should get going, though. This isn't my home just yet, after all. Sorry again for imposing on you. You've been very kind. Celia, we're engaged! <laughs> she lives in a loft. Where does she store her kitchen stuff? Fantastic point. Oh, but before I go, I have something I wanted to give you. Tell me it's a kiss. Tell me it's a smooch. It's a real thing. It's a... Oh... I raised this tomato all by myself. You worked so hard lately, so I thought this could be my way of saying thank you. I know we've still got lots and lots to do before we get married, but I know the two of us will be the best team ever. I'm gonna throw up. I love her. See you later then. Bye. <gasps> A smooch? A second gift? <laughs> I was just thinking. I guess the next time I come here will be after we're married, won't it? Feels a little surreal. I mean, you can, like, come tomorrow. I don't know. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Oh. She's so cute. I'm so excited, and I have a tomato. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. What the heck? Oh, why not a kiss? No smooches? Gosh, that's okay. I'll find a way. Okay, we gotta... It's already 11.15. Oh my gosh, Celia, I love you, but what? That was so much time. All right. Oh, also... I was in the middle of a cutscene, but I'm, I'm not Canadian, but I have lived in Canada for a really long time. I don't live in Canada now, but... Oh. <laughs> but I have lived in Canada, so I know a fair bit about it. But also my- my- I don't know if it's a Newfoundland thing to say muchly, but I know- well, my, uh, like, one of- one of my family members lives in Nova Scotia. And they say muchly, like, literally all the time. And I feel like when I went to Newfoundland, I heard people say it, so I just assume it's kind of like a Maritime Canada thing. I don't really know. What part of Canada was it cool? Um, it, I mean, it was, it was interesting. It was a good experience. Can the sheep be sheared? I don't know. I didn't think it was puffy enough, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. <gasps> Another fertile, are you kidding me? Give me the egg. Give, 
Give me the egg. Another fertilized egg? Oh my gosh, we're gonna have four chickens. <laughs> what the heck? That is so exciting. But yeah, I lived in a couple... I've lived in... Uh... Oh, okay. I lived in a couple different provinces. Uh, I lived in Quebec, and it was... It was interesting. It, very, like... Kind of weird because a lot of people speak French, like Quebecois, but then also there's like an English bubble. So it's like, I don't know. I didn't feel like I got the full experience because I do not speak French, but a lot of people would also be mad at me because they'd come up to me and like start speaking Quebecois. And I was like, ah, uh, bonjour, I don't know. And then they would get mad at me because they, I don't know, like it felt like the Quebecois people were always very upset if I didn't know how to speak French. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it's just the ones that I met. And then I was also in New Brunswick for a bit. Um, not my fave place ever. And also Newfoundland was really nice, but it's like very detached kind of. It's just kind of like an island <laughs> a little bit, but it was like really fun to have to like get out there and like... I don't know. It's really beautiful. It's probably like one of the most beautiful places I've been in the world, legitimately. Like just really pretty and like quaint and nice. And I saw a whale just like sitting on a hill. And then I like not the whale wasn't sitting on a hill, but I was just like sitting looking at the water and I was like, whoa, this is cool. And then there was a whale and I was like, oh, this is even cooler. Now there's a whale. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure and if you're if you're it's uh, i don't know if your dad is from vancouver but says muchly maybe it's just a canadian thing i've just feel like i've only heard like maritime canada people say it but maybe it's just in all canada people who knows i'm gonna let the animals out so they're happy hmm i don't think that these are ready to shear this one might be actually. I'm gonna try. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. My bad. I didn't do a thing. Doo doo doo. I'm from British Columbia. I think Brit BC is really nice. I like British Columbia. I've only really been to Vancouver, but it's like, it's nice. I don't know. I don't think I'd live there though, because apparently it's very expensive to live there. And I do I do not want to pay a bajillion dollars to live in Vancouver. Do 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 I can't believe we're we're engaged to be wed. This is so exciting for us. And to Celia, the cutest little bean. I love her. Oh my gosh. Give give I was pressing the wrong button and then getting mad that it wasn't letting me pick up the flower. <laughs> oh my gosh. Charlie, seems like you're from Michigan. I am not from Michigan. I don't even... I've never been to Michigan. I don't know anything about Michigan at all. <gasps> Nami. Here's a clay figurine. I feel like we're going to be the best of friends, Nami. It just makes me feel... It just feels like it. Charlie is giving Midwest energy? What do, you, what do you mean? Midwest energy. I feel like it's a very well-known fact that I'm from Maine. <laughs> like, I don't know what Midwest energy I radiate. <laughs> That's so scary. I don't know anything about the Midwest. Not that the Midwest is scary. I just, like, I don't know anything. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> What? Why don't you? Oh my god. Can I really not give you a flower just because you're like thinking of punching this piece of metal? What? Like, why? Of course. It, like, now he walks away and he's like, wait, what is that? Gordy is such an enigma and I don't think I like it. <laughs> Gordy has Midwest energy. What is Midwest energy? <laughs> I don't know. Michigan, Maine, close enough. I don't know anything about Michigan either. I know that some of my friends have, like, their parents grew up in Michigan and they, they always were like, yay, Michigan. But I don't really know why. I'm not sure. Do, 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 do. I need to give Ramona gifts because I am not, I feel like I'm not going to get cats. 
Oh, she's outside. Never mind. Maybe a cat is in our future. I was going to say, like, every time I try to give her a gift, she's sitting in the chair and she doesn't take it. I just realized that her umbrella bottom has a face. Did everybody else know this? Look at the umbrella. It has a face. That's horrific. I hate that so much. Ooh, uh, uh. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, okay. And then we got to give a gift to Sebastian. Sebastian's not here. I remember reading something about like... There's like a recipe hidden or something. Maybe I made that up. Okay, maybe there's not a recipe. Where is everybody? I guess it's summer, so people go outside. Oh, never mind. Sebastian's just in his room. Okay, we have to give a little fish to you. A little fishy. It's officially yours. All right. She might be Pennywise. Yeah, actually, my dad is Stephen King. And my mom is a moose. So who knows? <laughs> the only liquid that I consume is Moxie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I never know where Lumina is. Hello? This is horrific. I need to look up. I did so much research, but the one thing I didn't research was how to get a cat. Whoa. Hello? Oh, there she is. I feel like I really want to get a cat, and I want to name it Clifford. What are you- what are you doing? Good day. Simply love what you have. Okay, take it then. Oh my gosh, I love Celia. I do, but I'm getting so stressed. I'm like, you you ate up the all of my day talking about remodeling the kitchen. <gasps> Daryl, Daryl. And now I'm rushing around trying to get these gifts out. I need the seed maker so bad. So I need to prioritize Daryl. He doesn't really look like a Daryl, I feel. Like, Daryl just does not fit his face for me. Oh milk for chris why is everybody coming out of the inn right now i'll take it befriend the old rich lady i know i'm trying i have to get a cat and then the flower for molly with that lovely walk all right beautiful perfect and i haven't seen rock in like 12 years. Has anybody seen Rock? Is he alive? I have no idea. Google says you'll get a cat in fall year two. Oh, I thought it was like you had to befriend Ramana. Maybe, maybe it might have changed. I have no idea. I don't know where Rock lives. <laughs> maybe he's just chilling somewhere. Oh, this is the kitchen. Quick pickles. Turnip. I already have that recipe. Easy salads to know and love. Tomamello salad. Tomacaro salad. Oh, I just got two recipes? What the heck? I knew there was hidden recipes. Easy soups to know and love. Sweet potato soup. Tomatoma soup. Ho ho ho! <laughs> The soup recipe made me sneeze. Okay, we're good. I think we got all the recipes in there. That was actually so good. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. I tried I tried to angle myself away. I don't know. I thought I didn't think you would hear my sneeze. I just sneezed too. Oh my gosh. Bless you. <laughs> Our sneezes are synced. I'm like simultaneously very happy and very sad that Nina is like our closest friend. If you know, you know. <gasps> Shoot. I have to get more fish. I haven't fished in so long. Wait. Hold on. I'm going to go up here and see if the, the lizard... Oh, it's a rock! Wait, what the heck? I was just talking about you, buddy. I missed you. Not really, actually. Don't take that personal. There you go. Name the child Trevor. 
We can't name the child Trevor. We already have a child named Trevor. We need to think of a, something something zestier. I don't know why zesty is like my favorite word today. We could do... It'll, it can be a different name, but we can do the same capitalization, you know? I think it'll be good. The Rock. <laughs> we have encountered The Rock. Dwayne The Rock. Oh, there's no lizard. That's okay. We can try anyway. See if there's any good fish up here. Fish! La la la. Name him Better Matthew. I don't want Celia to think that the only reason I married her is to spite Matthew. <laughs> and it kind of seems that way. I like propose in front of him. I love Zesty. We could name the child Zesty for sure. I feel like if we... Ooh, a fish. If we married Rock, I feel like we would have to name it Pebbles, the kid. Better Rock? <laughs> We'll have to see. I feel like we have to see what the child looks like first, you know? Better rock would be, like, so dumb, but kind of funny. I don't know if the, there's enough letters to allow for that, though, you know? Is that just zesty backwards? It, it, it says... Come on, fish. Come on, little fish. Why are you thinking so hard about this? Oh, oh, oh. Isn't a better rock a boulder? Oh my gosh, you're so right. I feel like naming our kid the boulder, we would just give birth to the boulder from Avatar. The boulder thinks that that is a bad idea. And then, and then our kid would only talk in third person. Do we really want that for our child? I don't think we do. Little Masu. Okay. I'll get one more fish. Oh, hi, Flora. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I think Flora likes fish. Little Masu? Milady? Little Masu? Oh my goodness, is that for me? It sure is. This just made my entire day. Wow. That's so good. I'm glad. Okay. Let's get like one more fish. And then we'll go to bed. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe we're halfway through the season already. It really flies. Come on, fishy. Oh, ah. Where's that fish going? Okay, we got another mossy. All right. Bedtime. Oh, Daryl was watching. He's like, mmm, fish. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. I can't wait for, uh... Shoot, what's the name of the little, like, yeti guy? It starts with an M. It's like Mogu Mogu or something <laughs> with the little yeti. Love that guy. I can't wait for them. Okay, I got the milk. Muku Muku. Yeah, I like Muku Muku. He's so cute. Name him Achilles. <gasps> wait. How do we not name our child Achilles Tendon? You know? Am I the only one that feels like that is just the, the best choice? That would be so good. Okay, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Uh, I got to save. Okay. But somehow also the worst. But it like, it's it's awful. But then like you think about it, it's like that's the only choice. <gasps> Muku Muku! It's Muku Muku! I was just talking about him. He he heard his name and he 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 was summoned. Oh my gosh! I can't wait for Muku Muku. Sunny's romance season two. Yeah. Then, our then. Sunny's romance or Summer's romance or whatever is going to have a better ending because it'll suddenly be our child's life, you know? <laughs> he hath been summoned. Muku Muku. Muku Muku Muku. I love him. 
Muku Muku makes me think of Moto Moto in the Madagascar movie. I hate to say this, but those are two completely different characters. <laughs> That's the guy who's like, uh, I, I like him big. The, the guy who's, uh, uh, he's like going after Gloria or whatever. Is that the right guy? I don't know. Also, from my research, the star cows are like, well, obviously based on the price, but they're like the best cows that you can get in the game. And I kind of want a star cow. Ah, uh, but we should get a sheep. We should get another sheep so that we can... I don't have enough money. Okay, never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. But we should get another sheep when we do have enough money so that we can... Get that juicy 3,000 per wool. They give you star milk. Oh, we need them so bad. We're going to have the most efficient farm. Mark my words. To be fair, I could probably buy some more crops to put up there and in the other half of the field with the trees. And I'm going to do that because that would make the most sense. I'm going to learn and I'm going to grow more crops. I think Moto Moto likes you. I remember that line. Moto Moto. Huh. Name a chicken Moto Moto. Yeah, we can immortalize, memorialize, whatever. Moto Moto. The cow inherits the type of its mother, so you don't need a star bowl. A normal one will do. Oh, fascinating. Let's we'll see. I mean, to be fair, I don't have the money to afford either of them, so. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to check as well how... Okay, wait, let me just quickly... Three, six... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think we need about like 30... Uh, like 40-ish seeds to fill all those areas. That shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if we'll have enough for that much, but we at least we have a lot of real estate that we can fill. Okay, I'm going to brush. And milk. Beautiful. I miss the days of four milk. Weren't those just the days? It made me so happy every single time. It's like when you when you pick the oranges and you get like eight oranges it just it hits different now i only get two and now i'm just like oh okay two milk i guess bomb oh. butter those days will return in time you're right i need to be patient i need to be oh is that another fertilized egg say it isn't so it's gonna take forever oh my gosh why are you having so many fertilized eggs Jeez, is this Stardew Valley remake? Stardew Valley is remake of this game and I will die on that hill. <laughs> I will not allow anybody to think that this is a Stardew Valley remake. <laughs> Fresh milk, anyone? The heat's been getting to me. So if anyone has milk, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, these missions are so easy. Okay, let's go do those really fast. I think we have milk. Yeah, we just milked the cow. So we're good. We're good. You can sell the rooster when you have seven fertilized eggs. This is true. Oh, hello, John. I have your milk. There you go. And it's A rank milk, so I mean, this is far out. I had a feeling you'd be the one to take up my request. Is it because I'm the only one that owns a cow? Oh, <gasps> wait, thank you. Sorry for the sass. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, uh, spells. Okay, stop saying weird things, please. All right, and then a little gift. Yay! Oh my gosh, I don't get why everybody thinks I sound like Jaden Animation. It's, uh, this is so perplexing to me. I have like intensely listened to Jaden Animation's voice and I've tried to like match it in my head and it just does not compute. I'm like, I don't know where this is coming from. 
but I that is not the first time that I've gotten <laughs> I've gotten that before. La 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 la. Okay, Gordy, are we looking at the metal or are you gonna take the flower? This is for you. Oh my god, of course. You're looking at the metal. Walk away, walk away. Walk away, please. Oh my gosh. She sounds too Midwestern to be Jaden. I don't understand. I don't even know what the Midwest is. <laughs> okay, there you go. I hate how finicky Gordy is, <laughs> but it's fine. Do you think Gordy made his house as well? Yes. Look at this thing. You don't think he punched this with his bare hands? Oh, wait, is this his logo? It's like a G, but it's like Gordy. I just put that piece together. <laughs> I feel like everybody else probably knew that, but to me, this is a revelation. Okay. We gotta give some other gifts out. Uh, let me see. Cecilia, is, I don't know if I understand the friendship meter, but... It feels like we have to keep giving gifts to Cecilia because she's not all the way to the end of the like the friendship meter. But I don't know how much that matters. Ooh, flowers. I got to collect these. I got to collect these. The G looks like the Gatorade logo. It kind of does have like Gatorade vibes for sure. I haven't had a Gatorade in so long. To to all the Gatorade drinkers that are that are present, what kind of Gatorade do you drink? Because I feel like a lot of people drink blue Gatorade, but I've only ever had orange. And I'm just like, there's so many flavors out there. Does anybody drink those ones? I don't know. Okay, okay. <gasps> Vesta, my queen. Here. Wait. <gasps> Holy honeydews. I'm jealous. I wish a nice young someone like you would sweep me off my feet and propose to me too. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Vesta approves. That is all I could ask for in this life. Here, my mother-in-law, tech kind of technically. <laughs> oh my gosh, blue, light blue. Oh, lemon lime. I didn't even know that was a flavor. Oh my gosh, a lot of people drink blue. I guess that's just the way it goes. Here's a milk. Oh, wait, shoot. What did he say? Wait, did he say something salty? I thought it was just his normal dialogue. Shoot, what did he say? He said like, well, Celia seems happy at least. He seems so salty. And that makes me like unreasonably happy. My love? Oh, Charlie, every day is so much brighter now. I'm having so much fun just living life. Oh, cutie. I've been thinking about you a lot, Charlie. When I do, I end up spacing out a bit though. Vesta keeps scolding me for it. Okay, well, you should work as well. Here, have some soup. White Arctic Cherry? Oh my gosh, there's so many, like, types of Gatorade I've never even heard of before. Oh, she's so cute. We're, like, married, but I'm still reading the diary. I feel like that's also, like, an invasion of privacy, so that's kind of my bad, and I apologize for that, but I just can't help it. I just want to know. How does she feel? <laughs> okay, um... There was another... Oh, it was Nami, I think. Nami was the other quest. I don't know where she went, but yeah, she wanted a fish. Any fish, I think it was, was the one that she had on the board. All right, we'll give some flowers to Lou. Do, 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 do. The white one is the bomb. I feel like I need to try. I want to try every Gatorade and see how they all stack up. Did you play the OG Harvest Moon? Yeah, I played um most of them, actually. I, of course, played Mineral Town, Friends of Mineral Town, and I played Magical... Good morning. Oh, frick, it's rock. I thought it was going to be Nami. Dang it. Here, have a gift. No, 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 no. I hate when they walk down. Hello? 
did he go? What? What? Hello? Where did he go? What just happened? Did he just disappear? Okay. That was really perplexing. Did he... Did he go in the kitchen? <gasps> he is in the kitchen! Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was so weird. He Charlie, what's up? Here for a little house party? Not at all. <laughs> that was really confusing. Okay. We got the gift to rock. I forget what I was saying. Oh, yeah. I've played... My favorite Harvest Moon game is Magical Melody, which is also a GameCube one. I played that, like, mostly. I also played so much Wonderful Life. So I really love that one as well. And then... Yeah, I played Friends of Mineral Town. I played like every single one on the DS, like Sunshine, DS Cute, I think it was. And then like Tale of Two Towns, all of those. Honestly, I played every single Harvest Moon game until like, I think until like SOS Poot or whatever, like, uh, like pretty much like once they started turning into Story of Seasons, I feel like in my opinion, they started getting like a little worse. <laughs> So I was kind of like, meh. But I don't know. What's your least favorite? I don't I don't really know if I have a least favorite. They all kind of have a... Like a different vibe. Like I like them all for different reasons, I think. I, Magical Melody is definitely my favorite. Oh, oh, oh. But I don't know. We have to plant our turnip seeds too. I thought Tale of Two Towns was kind of cool because we could... Uh, you, there was like a, a horse cart that you could kind of ride around in. I don't know. I thought that was cool for some reason. But I don't know. I would kind of have to like revisit them all. I feel like Friends of Mineral Town was fun. And it's like very nostalgic. But then I also think it's like not my favorite one. So maybe that would be my least favorite. I don't really know. I feel like it's kind of heretical to be like, you know, like basically the first one. <laughs> I hate that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of love them all for different reasons, like I said. Alright, I'm gonna go up this way. We gotta give a gift to Pooey, and we also have to check if the Chihuahua is there. I'm very invested in getting another golden fork, I tell ya. Okay, and a fish for Pooey. Okay. Is your favorite marriage candidate out of all of them? I have no idea. I really like... I like Kurt from Magical Melody, and I like Ellen, I think. I used to always marry Ellen, so I have a soft spot for her. And I think, like, I don't know, like, Vaughn from... Uh, what version was that? I don't know. One of them had, like, Vaughn. I liked Vaughn. I just like the ones that are, like kind of standoffish but then you get to know them and they're really cute that's like usually the, my go-to <laughs> like sky or what i don't even remember there's so many versions too and they all have different <laughs> like names and everything but uh we got a fossil for nami here you go and we have to give her the fish i cannot forget Okay, and request, and we'll just give the Masu. That's all we have, so. <laughs> boom, 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 boo, boo, doo, doo. What's she gonna give? Oh, did you just pick that up off the ground? I just saw one of those on the ground. You know, I'm not gonna be ungrateful. Thanks so much, Nami. <laughs> I thought I would get something a little better for that, but that's okay. That's okay. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a recipe for pickles. I wonder what the difference is between quick pickles and just regular pickles. I'm not sure that we'll ever know. 
Blala. I love Friends of Mineral Town as a kid, but I enjoyed playing the remake as an adult. I got bored really fast because there's no overarching storyline. Words. Yeah, I felt the same exact way. That was like kind of what I was going to say. And then I was like, eh, I don't want to like trash on a game because it was still kind of fun. Like I really enjoyed it at first because I was like, oh, this is so fun. I remember all these people. And then like because you don't have it like in this game and in like Magical Melody and like Sunshine Islands and stuff, they're like larger goals that you kind of work toward obviously like getting the harvest goddess back or like collecting notes or like sun suns or something i forget what the other ones are but like yeah i definitely think that like friends of mineral town is very like repetitive you just kind of do the same stuff you like gift people and then you try and get chickens and cows and stuff and then you have them but there's not that many like alternative mechanics that make it as fun so yeah, yeah, that's probably what I would say. Do we have to be friends with Gavin? There you are. Welcome. Listen to this. Just the other day, Molly bought some groceries I never even asked for. When I asked her if she was going to cook something with them, she got real mad and said, of course not. Wow, she sounds like a real doll. <laughs> I don't understand that logic, but okay. Hmm. So it's summer six. It's getting late. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna see if Gavin's here. I think that Gavin obviously... Yeah. I don't know what to give Gavin. I'll just give him an egg or something. Everybody likes eggs and stuff. Hold on. I'm back, Gavin. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking about if I wanted to gift you. Oh, no. I'll try... What about a flower? I didn't seem into that. Maybe a fish? Are you a fish guy? Now that, my friend, is a favorite of mine. Okay. He likes fish. I'm writing that down. Oh, wait, but I can't give it to him because he's cooking or something? Oh, 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 oh. That was perfect timing. Okay. There you go. Pocket that fish very slowly. All right. I think we should get some more fish. We're out of fish and like so many people like them because we always give them to Gary. We've got to start giving them to Gavin. We've been giving them to Huey as well. Lovely, lovely little bean. I'll just fish here. It's a good spot. As good as any. <gasps> la, 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 la. I haven't mentioned it, but that sudden zone change that triggers or stops the music shakes me. Yeah, I don't know why it's so like weird. With Stardew, it also bugs me. Yeah, I always find that, like, in games where they have different music for different zones, it gets kind of weird when you, like, leave the zone and then you're like, oh, okay, guess the saloon music is off now. <laughs> like, and for some reason, they only play it, like, next to the cafe and then you get, like, two feet away and suddenly it just stops. I don't know why it is. I was thinking of just making a playlist of, like, all my favorite Harvest Moon songs and, like, playing that instead of leaving the game music on. I am yawning. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just kind of how it goes. I don't know. I want to see. Uh. Oh, wait. Is it this? Yeah, I want to see system options. Sound effects, background music. Yeah, so we could turn the background music on or off, I mean, and just listen to some other music. <laughs> I'll probably do that for next episode because I wanted to leave it on for the first like stream. I don't know. I said episode. <laughs> I wanted to leave it on for the first stream because it's so nostalgic to me. But then I think it would be kind of fun to just like make a playlist and we can listen to that instead. And it wouldn't be as like weird. So many fishies. But I'll definitely do that for like next time we stream. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow. But whenever we do the next stream, I can do that. Oh my gosh. There's Sully. Speed walking. The fishing is so nice in this game because I don't have to exert any effort. I just sit here and then I hear a noise and then I click it and then it does it all on its own. And I love that, honestly. I'm sick of games where I have to work for the fish. <laughs> 
so annoying. I can just stand here. A huge wakasagi. This is my first day of school. Oh my gosh, I hope you had a great first day. Yeah, that's... I can't believe everybody has... It's like already it's the first day of school? I guess, yeah, September 5th. Usually I started on like September 4th, September 3rd. That makes sense. I hope everyone, if, if you had a first day of school today or yesterday or have one tomorrow, I hope that it went really well or that it will go really well. <laughs> I wanted to ask if you have a video about Animal Crossing talking about your dream code. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know how dream addresses work in Animal Crossing. <laughs> like, I don't know... I don't understand how it works and I don't know how to make one. I've never seen the like dreamy aardvark anywhere. I'll have to like research that because I feel like people so many people have like commented on videos and been like oh what's your dream code and I'm like I don't even know what a dream code is. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay we've gotten so many fish. All right let's go home we should bring all the animals back into the barn mm -mm -mm. you have to sleep in your bed in the house oh clearly i've never done can you not sheep Jeez. clearly i've never done that i'll have to look it up and also, if does your dream code, like, can you use it if you reset your island? That That's probably a stupid question. Probably you can't. Because if I have to, like, reset my island, that would be so sad. Because then the dream code would just be gone. I don't really know anything about Animal Crossing. Which I feel like is very apparent from the videos that I make. <laughs> okay. All right, everything is looking good. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. we got to plant our turnips. And then we can go to bed. Where's the hoe? Oh, there it is. Your dream code resets if you reset your island. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I don't know if I'm like, do I have the heart to reset quinoa once I finish it? I don't know. We'll have to see how I feel. Oh, it survives resets. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, fish, egg, vegetable. Okay, we'll, we'll have to do that. Once the turnip is done. Because I have a turnip that's growing for Matthew. I know, bleh. Uh, and then... Oop. Oh, I have to water them twice? I don't really feel like it, but I will. Yeah, I have a turnip that I need for Matthew. And then there's another turnip I need to make quick pickles for Lumina. And then I'll do it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna drink a milky soup. Oops. I've seen several people save their island that way for restarts. Oh, well, in that case, I think that would be really cute. Because I've always been, like, really sad about the idea of... I don't know. Losing quinoa forever. I think that would be actually a good idea. I'll have to look into that more because if it like saves the island, that would definitely be even more worthwhile. I don't feel like watering these again. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I don't care. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. It didn't happen. All right, we got to save. Boom, boom, doom, doom. Charlie, it's fine. It's fine. You didn't see anything. You didn't see a thing. I didn't do it. Okay. Oh, oh, it's Star Trip. I'm sorry. I don't care about Star Trip. I was in it for Achilles tendon. Oh. It's almost harvest time. Oh. What? Okay. Did you say don't give it to Matthew? The turnip? Okay. Turnip, fish, egg. Uh, wait, right? Yeah. I don't know. 
We'll get there. When, when the turnip is done, we can we can do that instead. I'm gonna be heading to sleep. Have a good rest of your stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope you sleep well. <laughs> thank you, thank you though. You're naming your child Achilles tendons, right? <laughs> we'll we'll have to see what they look like, but it seems like Achilles tendon is the only option for me. Like that just feels right. All the other names, it's like Zesty would be cool. That would be funny, but then it's like it's got to be Achilles tendon. We need to know what happens. Does he ever find a lead singer? Does he become the best Mongolian throat singer in the world? It, I don't know. We need to find out. Okay. Timkins? If girl name it Summer. No, but Summer's literally the worst. She was... She's so rude. She can't sing to the point where they kicked her out into the streets. I don't know if I want Summer. <laughs> La, 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 la. And Cindy, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope your work goes well and we will... Yeah, I'll definitely be streaming more. I want to try and get into the habit of like starting a series and then just like streaming it until I finish it. So that is what I'm going to potentially do. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I completely forgot that it could be a girl. Yeah, it can. It can be a boy or girl. I think that your spouse asks you. Uh, but I don't really have a preference. I guess if I'm naming it Achilles. Okay, why did you just like get angry with me? I just wanted your wool. I just need to make. I need. I need to make bank. I love it when you. Oh, I thought you said I love it when they scream. I was like me too, and then I was like, oh, when I stream. Gotcha. Like, also good, but not as good. <laughs> yeah, this is streamer era part two. My streamer era was interrupted when I had to, like, move and do a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Why does my dog not want to be trained? Oh, okay, jump. Woo! Jump. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Oh, it was asleep when I tried to shear it? Okay, that makes sense. I'd be kind of mad too. Um, I'm going to hold on to all this stuff though because Van is coming tomorrow. If I can give him an egg before he starts selling things, I'm hoping maybe we could get our friendship high enough so that I can like, I don't know, bar hassle? What's the word? Hassle. Bargain? Hassle? I totally forget the word. What am I doing? I need a fish. That would be good, because I want as much money as we can possibly get. If someone woke me up trying to give me a haircut, I'd be pretty upset about it. That is totally fair. I would be pretty mad, too. All right, we'll go in and get our recipe, I guess. I don't really know. Will this be up as a VOD? Yeah, it'll be up as a VOD, so no worries. No worries. <laughs> I have, like, all the VODs of streams. It's borscht! We got the recipe for borscht! Let's go! Not gonna lie, I made borscht in real life. For some reason, one of my friends was so intent on making borscht one day. Like, I almost... Oh oh, 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 oh. Wait, the lizard is here. Okay, we gotta try fishing up here. That is our only objective for the day. But yeah, one of my friends was, like, really intent on making borscht. And I, I did not know why, but it was pretty good. It was fun. And then we made it and it was okay. I've just got to say, I'm not a ketchup fan, really. So it kind of was like off-putting to put like ketchup and vinegar into a thing. I don't know. <laughs> Inflanetary snail. First of all, I love that name, but also thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good time at school. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, what's borscht? I think it's a Russian dish and it's basically like, ooh, it's basically, what is borscht? Hold on. Let me look it up. Borscht. 
It's a sour soup made with meat stock, vegetables, and seasonings. Yeah, it has like beets in it. I thought it's... It's Russian and Polish cuisine. Which is, it was interesting. It was good. Ukrainian sour soup. Yeah. Is, um... It was good. It was like good. I, like, I don't know. I'm not saying anything bad about borscht. It was good. It was just a lot to make. Because you have to like... I don't know peel the beets like shave the stuff off the beets and then you have to cut the beets and you have to make the beets and beets are like stain a lot so the counters were like all red and it was kind of concerning but it was good borscht is the new cob salad i don't like borscht nearly as much as i like cob salad and i've had borscht <laughs> i still need to try a cob salad and yeah, did we ever find out where the lizard is injured? I have literally no idea. So we're just going on... We're just going to say that Gordy punched it. Stefan is definitely correct on that one. That's the only explanation is that Gordy just punched it for no reason. Borscht is mid. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't my thing, but I can see why people would like it. Like, I didn't hate it. But I also wasn't like, wow, I'm going to make borscht all the time. I want a good fish. Why doesn't it give me good fish? Hmm. I don't know if it's really worth it. Like if it just gives me more of like the large version of the fish that's already there. Or if it's actually going to give me better fish. Does anyone notice the fish magically disappears when it snags the line? It's transcending so that when you catch it, it's uh, in its full fish, fish, fishy glory. I don't know. That was a horrible sentence. I don't know. The better rods unlock better fish. Yeah, they definitely do. I think that I have to... I'm not sure if it's like a timed thing or if I just have to like do something before I can unlock getting the better tools from Van. But I do know that I have to, like, pay for them. Which is gonna be super fun. It's gonna be a time, huh, Vesta? Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm actually really mad that I accidentally skipped over Matthew's, like, commentary about Celia and I getting engaged. I want to know. Is he, like, gossiping about me? Like, the he was just throwing shade right at my face? I want to know. Okay. Milk for Matthew. Why do you... You just push me around and I don't know why. And then... Oh no. We're out of milky soup. Oh, we have one. Perfect. Hi there and welcome. Oh, she's so cute. What the heck? She's still thinking about me. Well, think about me as you drink this milky soup. Beautiful. He says something along the lines of, I hope she doesn't change her mind. Okay, rude. Oh, he says he's happy for her and hopes she doesn't change her mind. Oh, that's what you were saying. Ooh, ah. Oh my God, Matthew jump scare. I thought you were just saying in general, I hope she doesn't change her mind. I was like, Dang, me too. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what he says. Jeez, you don't have to be so salty, Matthew. Lord. Hey. That's such like an awful thing to say. It's like if your friend came up to you and was like, Oh, oh yeah, I'm engaged. Like I'm getting married to, to your friend, to this person. And then you're like, wow, I hope they don't change their mind. Like, geez, sorry. sorry? Uh -huh. It's just not a normal answer. <laughs> Matthew, I roll. This is very true. He looks like a Pikmin. Okay, yeah, Gustafa kind of does look like a Pikmin, though. What is... Huh? Oh, no. Not rock again. <laughs> Yo, Lumina, what's up? Oh, no. Oh, rock. Good day. Glad I caught you. See, there's this thing that's really been eating away at me. I thought I had to warn you. Ugh, warn me? Whatever do you mean? It's about your home sweet home. I hate to say this, but according to my intel... 
If you go to the villa late at night, you'll hear them. Oh my gosh. Why is rock such like a gaslighter? <laughs> this is awful. The other night, there was a lady's voice just laughing away in the garden, but no one could have been out that late. Yep, I think you might live in a haunted mansion, Lumina. And if the ghost got you, I don't know what I'd do. Is he going to be like, that's why you should stay with me? That's why I... <laughs> she is so unamused. Haunted? How could... Lies. Oh, you dreadful liar. You mustn't make up such awful rumors like that, Rock. Hey, wait, Lumina. Oh my god, Lumina, run. Oh, I'm so cute. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what his problem is. Go, stay away. Wait, what? Did she just... I'm not even that pale, I feel. Oh, man. Oh, oh. That was the ghost. That was the jump scare. Wow, that was so rude. For what? Lumina, I thought we were friends. What the heck? <laughs> I'm a little hurt about that, but that's okay. Was that her shoulder clipping through the hair as she ran? Eh, probably. That's the thing. This isn't the best made game in the world, but it's so charming that I can't help but care, you know? Okay, no seed maker for me. You have like the third lightest skin. I, it's not even that bad, I feel. Charlie, it'd be funny if you edited down a video of Rock just being an L. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. It's just a compilation of Rock being the absolute worst. It's just actually every moment that we're ever talking to him. <laughs> All right. There we go. Your flower for the day. That game looks horrible. Honestly, you should have seen the old one. This is an improvement. For us Story of Seasons Harvest Moon fans, this is actually quite a lot better. <laughs> and this is going to be like a video in the future. I'm just streaming it live because I think it's kind of fun to do that. Cause then I get to like hang out and it's like I'm gonna record it anyway I might as well stream it as well but yeah I'm gonna make it into a video once we finish okay Molly thanks so much goodbye wait is Gavin home hold on thanks back to all the translation mistakes in early harvest moon yeah we're we have thick skin in this community <laughs> All right, here's a fish, friend. The visuals isn't even the biggest upgrade. The fact that things are faster and snappier is honestly an improvement. That is true. It used to be such a such a wait every time you wanted to do something. At this point, I'll take what I can get. But I definitely think like, I don't know, it's kind of the same. Or like, I don't really know. It, it kind of gives me the same vibe as like Pokemon a little bit where it's like, uh, I don't know. Just it just is like the same thing, and it's like you know, if you just put a little bit more effort, you could have made that Pokemon game just just better instead of the way that it is. And it feels the same with like the Story of Seasons games, where it's like if you just put a little bit more thought in and like just a little bit more effort, like it could look way better. And also, you could have given like actually good dialogue to the bachelors, but like who am I to say? I don't really know. <laughs> And the name changes are dumb. I think the reason is because of like people were saying it was like um like licensing issues or something like that. Like that when because it's made by Story of Seasons and not like Harvest Moon or whatever, like they had to change the names because they weren't allowed. So the only one that's like similar enough is Cecilia because it's technically like a different name. I don't really know. But I think it's kind of dumb too. <laughs> They have very little incentive to make better Pokemon games because they offer so much money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, too, is like, I, I don't know, as, as like lackluster as some of the Pokemon games are just because it feels like they're making one for the sake of making one. I'm also going to buy it and play it every single time. And they know that about me. So like, I'm part of the problem. 
So, I don't know. Oh, oh. Hello. These blistering hot days just have not let up. This is nothing compared to what they deal with in the city, though. Have, has anybody noticed her eyebrows are, like, absolutely blasting off? Incredible. Okay. Please give me a cat soon. Oh, come on. Games have been junk lately. I, I, I had a lot of fun with Pokemon Scarlet, but I definitely kind of dropped off, like... I think it was after X and Y. I was kind of just like, I don't, I cannot be bothered. I, I didn't even, I haven't even played Sword and Shield. That was a game that I wanted to play on stream as well. Because I want to make it a goal to play like uh, every Pokemon game on stream. I think that would be super fun. But yeah, I don't know. I didn't even mess with Sword and Shield. Because I was just like, you know, it's just going to be the same thing. And I don't really care that much sweet nina enjoy this flower have you played pokemon unite i have played like most pokemon properties i've played pokemon what's it called it's like the pokemon game i don't think it's this it's not pokemon unite wait it's not right no yeah i have played pokemon unite but i really like that like random like free pokemon game where you just collect like blocky pokemon on the switch I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about, but like, for some reason, I'm really into that game. Okay, I think. Ooh, 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 it's Lou. But I've played everything. I played like Pokemon Cafe or whatever, like, pretty much all of them. She's so cute. What the heck? Pokemon Quest. Yeah, I love Pokemon Quest. <laughs> that was like so so dumb do you have pokemon sleep i do not have pokemon sleep i heard it was kind of like like eats away your, the battery at your phone and my battery is already bad and i also like already have an app that kind of tells me all of the stuff that pokemon sleep does so i kind of was just like eh, not gonna bother all right I'm scared to play the new Pokemon Snap because I love the N64 game. I actually played the new Pokemon Snap and I had a good time with it. I thought it was really fun. I think like you can't really go wrong with just like looking at fun, fun little Pokemon in the wild, doing their thing and snapping little pictures. Like I thought it was really fun. Um, but I, it does like make me motion sick. And, like that would be a game that would be fun to play, but I would not play that on the channel, I don't think, because it's like so sickening to look at. It's just so, like I could not play it for very long. <laughs> it was a lot. Ooh, I love the Ranger games. Pokemon Ranger was one of my favorites as well. I love Pokemon Ranger. Probably my favorite game is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Mm -hmm. That one's a fire game. And that was just my favorite as a kid. That one in Emerald, mm, love it. You just take photos of Pokemon. Yeah, it's basically like you just take pictures of Pokemon like doing different stuff. And that's basically the whole game. But then you have to like catch them in different positions or like doing different quest things. And then you like get better grades. I don't really know. It's a very basic concept, but I still had fun with it. I'm going to make some of these because I need to water my plants and it's I am so out of energy. By saying that, you sound like Jaden. I don't know anything about Jaden. I just know that Jaden Animations plays Pokemon, right? I literally don't know. Can I eat this soup, please? Thank you. Be doo doo like in breath of the wild it's kind of like breath of the wild but in breath of the wild it's like an open world type of thing and in poke are you kidding me it's raining i just spent all that time and then i'm going to bed i hate this <laughs> wait i have to wait i have to oh no the chicken's outside the chicken's outside go inside i have to milk muyo hold on oh my gosh is there an egg out here? No? Okay. I have to go milk the cow. 
But yeah, um, like Breath of the Wild is an open world thing and you can kind of like run around and take pictures, but Pokemon Snap is like you're on a set path and you only can take pictures from like one sp It's kind of like being on a roller coaster almost. It's you basically just do the same roller coaster ride over and over again and then take different pictures. So, yeah. I was scared I'd be motion sick. I would fear that because I was <laughs> I was motion sick. But it is like fun but then you're like oh, okay i'm a little motion sick okay i go bed now tomorrow van is coming which is gonna be good because we can sell all our stuff and we're almost done with the summer what the heck time flies when you're having the time of your life and getting engaged you know oh <gasps> pooey oh he's so cute Oh, I love his little mushroom hat. I, I bet that's his fall variant. Fall pooey. Ooh, why does the foliage look so different? The fall is coming. <gasps> and our melons are ready. Oh my. Van, today you are going to give me all of your money. This is fantastic. Oh, 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 okay. Ba da da. Do 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 do. I really hope I make a lot of money from this. I think I will. I don't know. We'll see. I also want to try, like I said, I want to try haggling Van again. I need to catch him before he gets there. But I don't know what time he opens. But he's probably at the, uh, archaeology place. These look still watered, so I'm not going to waste my time or my energy. But let's milk the cow. Do, 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 do. Okay, and milk of the cow. We are cottagecore goddess. Oh my gosh. True. That's water. Where's the fodder? I actually love Pooey a lot. Moo you, moo yo, moo yo. Can you move yo? I need to feed you. Get out of the way. Oh, I saw the put in option for like a moment. Oh my god, why am I cracked? Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. Don't need to move. Fantastic. Who cares about melons? Do you have turnips yet? The turnips are still growing. They're on the way. I think there's others on the in the other field that are closer to being done. But fear not. We will get turnips. I also... I don't know. The, like, part of me that's played this game a lot thinks that I should save these oranges. But I'm going to bring them just in case Vance, like, buys them for a million dollars. Because at this point, I'm probably not going to get a seed maker for a little bit. But milk for Chris. I love that the colors have changed. They're so pretty. Now they're not like cherry blossoms anymore. It's just trees. Oh, okay. That's Carter. I thought that was Van. I wonder what Carter likes. Maybe fish. Good morning. Opening up shop today? No. You should know that. You're like friends with Van. I would never dare. Oh, uh, little Masu. Would you like a fish? Exemplary work, my friend. You can have it. What a kind gesture. Okay, I, that seems kind of positive. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna complain about that response. And then here you go, Romana. Am I crazy or was her name Ramona before? Or like something else that's slightly different? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I just remember it being something different. Hello. Okay, Lou. Dang it. Okay, Lou, take it. Why he put the fish in his pocket? Everybody puts everything in their pocket in this world. I don't know. It's just a thing that they all do. 
And then Gordy. Gordy's awake, I think. Yeah, I agree. The like music cuts are so weird. Oh, Gordy's still asleep. Oh, he probably wakes up at nine. Oh, I agree. The music cuts are weird. I was thinking that I wanted to like make a playlist to, to play instead of like just having the in-game music. Oh my goodness. Please, Gordy. Stop looking at the metal. I will wait. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. Why have pocket if not for fish storage? Exactly. What else are pockets for? I don't know. It's the only natural usage. Okay. Now we need to give Van an egg. I don't see him yet. So he must be near the dig site? I don't know. We'll go check. Charlie, do you ever think you do a Minecraft playthrough? Oh my gosh. Yeah? I'm actually... I actually have. <laughs> like I'm... Well, I've already done Minecraft videos in the past, but I just recorded like... I was thinking it would be fun to do like a Minecraft hardcore type of thing. Because I've never done a series like that. And I really like playing Minecraft. Especially when there's like some stakes to it. And I actually recorded one like a week or two ago, like a couple of weeks ago, and I just haven't edited it or anything, but I think it'll be, it, it, it'll be fun maybe. But we will see. There's no van here. Am I, I thought he comes on the 8th. Confusion. Minecraft speedrun. Oh my gosh. I am not that good at speedrunning. <laughs> will you do any more Terraria videos? I don't know. I'm not... I'm not that good at Terraria. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see. I was thinking it would be fun to like do um do like a Terraria thing kind of like with the Animal Crossing that I did and just kind of like play it myself, try to love it and like try and see what people love so much about it, you know? Because I feel like Terraria is like mildly fun to me, but it but it also like frustrates me like in a weird way you finished with just yo-yos that's true maybe i should have like started off by just playing but i feel like i try so hard to like terraria and i just never i never love it i'm just always like this is a, a good game this is oh, oh, spotted spotted target acquired but i don't know we'll have to we'll have to see how i feel like, every time I play Terraria, I'm like, whew, we'll get back to it in a couple months. <laughs> we'll get back to it in a year. <laughs> okay, here's an egg for you, sweet van. Okay, beautiful. And then Gustafa is right here. Oh, this is just great. Hey. That's exactly how I feel about Minecraft. That's understandable. I feel like some games just, like, don't vibe with people, and that's okay. And I also think that a lot of it, too, is, like, I grew up playing uh, Minecraft a lot. Like, I played Pixelmon with my brother, like, all the... He's punching the metal down there. He's making art. But, yeah, my brother and I used to play Pixelmon, like, all the time. So, Minecraft is really nostalgic for me. And, like, I just grew up playing it. So, I just understand it and really like it. And I think that's why a lot of people like Terraria. But I did not grow up with Terraria. So, I just, like... I don't know. It goes over my head. I like look in the inventory and I'm like, there's so many things happening. What is going on? Come peruse my wares. Okay, let's peruse the wares after we gift. Oh my gosh, so much to say. So much to say. Just take the flower. Okay. Oh wait, sorry. Nami's here. I feel like everybody passes this one spot like at least once in a day. I just need to like capitalize on it and give them all the gifts. Do 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 do. Okay, welcome to my humble place of business. What does he have? Oh, yes. 
Yes, the upgrades are here, everybody. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need the fishing rod. Wait, let me say, no, never mind. No, he doesn't. He doesn't let me get it for cheaper. Okay, we're just going to buy the fishing rod. And I think we should get the fishing rod and the watering can. Like 100%. Because the fishing rod, you can get different fish uh, at all the fishing areas. And you can get better fish. And then with the uh, watering can, you can water more like tiles with each thing. And I think that that's, those are going to be the most useful. Eventually, though, I would like to upgrade all of them, but I don't really think we need the other ones. I just think, like, we can live with a regular milker, you know? <laughs> I think if we could use the other money that we have to get, like, more sheep or something, 3,000... Whoa, 4,500? What sheep is out here producing this wool? I'm almost disgusted. That's so much money! what the heck thank you thank you sheep whichever one of you did that thank you so much wow that's incredible okay fertilized egg i am not selling that that's my special celia tomato i'm not giving that to you oh this is gonna be such a pain to re-choose if he doesn't give me the the haggle Okay, we'll try though. Sell. Oh, 14,000! Oh my god! We're start. We're making it. I changed my mind. Dang it, dang it. He's still not letting me haggle. Okay, fine. You can just have it. You can just have it. I don't care. Guys, we're rich. We're rich. It gives me such an adrenaline rush to actually make money in games like this. Like, yes. This is so good. Can we sell the veggie juice? Oh, let's sell the poison veggie juice. Oh my God, that sells for so much. Oh my God, suck it, Matthew. I do not care. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep the oranges. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, if you want to sell a whole stack, you can just press Y. Oh my gosh, thank you. Sorry you had to suffer through that. <laughs> oh my god, we're rich. We're rich. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? I am... I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Van. Okay, hold on. We also have six milk, and we can make milky soup with that to sell if we wanted to. The haggling. I tried the haggling, and he didn't... He didn't give it to me and it made me sad it did I, w I did not haggle i was just saggle so then i just walked away and then let him take it for whatever he wanted but oh oh, oh we still can't get a star cow they're so expensive but i want to see order facilities we could get a pond and that is all we could get hmm Hmm. I think it would be a good idea to save up for a fertilizer maker. Get a pond. I don't need a duck right now. I think if we get the fertilizer maker, we can grow more crops. And also, I think we should, like, maybe see what fall crops there are and buy a bunch of them. Uh, there's also like a third field that you can unlock eventually, but we don't have yet. I think that the way you unlock it, you just have to wait until like year two and do like a bunch of quests or something. So I don't think we can actually get it right now, which kind of sucks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is Pooey gonna beg? We can give a hundred dollars. We just made, we, we just had a payday. No? We're all good today? Okay. Okay, I don't think we gifted Rock today. I try to see him as little as often. We need a duck right now. 
Do we need a duck? I don't- the ducks don't do anything. I think they're just cosmetic. I don't really know though. Is Vesta in here? Oh gosh, it's Matthew. Alright, um... Let's see. Tomatoes... Oh, the tomatoes grow spring to autumn? I didn't know that. Whoopee. Uh... Autumn to spring. Are strawberries... Hmm. Hold on. Let me see. Best fall crop. Uh... This is such a long name. Hmm. Let's see. Sweet potato. Five day growth time. Ooh, that sounds kind of good. Hmm. It looks like the sweet potatoes sell for kind of a lot of money. The watermelons sell for 15 more gold, but they're more expensive and it takes longer to grow. Wait, maybe the sweet potatoes are kind of the way to go. Ooh, and the melons. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, sweet potatoes, it says, are the best. But the melons take longer to harvest. The best fall crops are ducks. You people! <laughs> Why would we get a duck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, potato. Sweet potato. My favorite fall vegetable is a sweet potato. A sweet potato. Sorry, my Michelle is not... Oh! <laughs> okay, let's start off. <laughs> We're not... <laughs> Okay, we should get like... I'm gonna get 60. 2400? Oh my gosh, I'm so rich. I don't even... <laughs> 2400? Yeah, take it. I don't, I don't care. Okay, and then... We should head back. It says they grow in the autumn. I wouldn't want to like plant them and then have them die. So I'm a little scared to plant them. I might wait. Have a fish. The people demand the ducks? Ducks? Oh my gosh. Ducks prize good as serotonin. Ser <laughs> serotonin. 20 out of 20. Cecilia's agree. What is going on? Let me, does a duck even do anything? Hold on. Duck. Story of seasons. Oh, wonderful. It's such a long title. It's so hard. Okay. Ducks. Oh, the ducks are so cute. Oh, wait a moment. Yeah, the ducks unlock during the summer of year two. We can even if we get a pond, we can't even get a a duck. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand that we need to get the ducks, but we can't get, we can't even get the ducks right now. So I think we should save our money and we can get the duck, speed sleep? You wanna sleep through the entire, like a year and a half? We can't do that. Wait, where are my turnips? Did I harvest them? Am I dumb? What? Weren't there turnips here? What? What? Did I make that up? Wasn't I growing turnips there? I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> um. I definitely didn't sell any turnips. Okay. They looked like they were dying. I didn't water them enough, did I? Oh, this is just... This is so... Well, now I have an upgraded watering can at the very least, so I can actually water these ones. So that's good. Not the turnips. I tried so hard. Did Pooey steal them? Let's just say that Pooey stole them, okay? They didn't die. They didn't die. It was, it was Pooey. 
He's just eating good tonight. Okay. Well, those ones will definitely not die at the very least. Um, I'm going to go to bed because <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad about my, my turnips. But okay. We only have a couple days left. Clifford, why are you... Clifford is like scratching at the... <gasps> muku, muku, muku. Muku, muku. Oh, I love him. Clifford is like scratching at the door for no reason. The, the, <laughs> the door is open. My son. Okay. Um, I wish we could see Clifford. Here's the thing. If he ever would like sit in one place, I would definitely do like a cat cam thing. But he's just not that kind of cat. Like, I don't understand when people have, like, a little cat cam and their cat just stays in the frame. I'm like, maybe once he gets a little older and he's less of a hecker. But right now, you can't get that boy to, to settle. <laughs> he would never. We haven't heard from Clifford for a while. Wait. Oh, I thought he was here. I don't know. Sometimes he hides behind the curtains. I have like curtains in my room just in case. Um, I don't know. Just in case what? I don't know where that sentence was going. I have curtains in my room for the daylight. So like when I film, it doesn't have like a bunch of weird lighting issues. Uh, and sometimes he just likes to hide in them. And it's really scary because I'll just be sitting here and I won't know he's there. And then suddenly... Please. Please. Oh my god. And then suddenly he'll just appear. Or his head will stick out right next to my desk. And I'm like, oh, hello? And it's really, really frightening, actually. Also, Clifford? I'm not gonna... Oh. Okay, that cutscene was a little weird. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be upset. But yesterday, Clifford attacked me. And like, he was trying to be playful, but I haven't clipped his claws in a while. Haven't given him a nail cut. And it was honestly so painful. Wait, my watermelons are done. <gasps> Yay! Oh! Oh my gosh, we have five more watermelons. I don't really know what to do with them. We could just sell them, I guess. We should probably wait until Van gets here, though. Like, we don't need the money yet. And Van's gonna give us more, I think. I'm gonna put them all in here. I'm also going to put our special tomato in here because I don't know. I get like very sentimentally attached to random uh, things. I third the Clifford GoPro. That would be so funny. He definitely he doesn't like wearing stuff, though, very much. I don't think he would like a GoPro on him. No Tamagotchi beeps tonight. Oh, my gosh, guys, I didn't tell you. Oh, there's a poop. Um, Boris had a child with a pair. So Boris is like an octopus kind of deal. Uh, and I, the matchmaker came today and was like, what do you think of this guy? And I was like, mm-hmm. And it was literally just a pair. But Boris is good. Boris, Boris has been fed. I just gave him some scones. But yeah. So it's kind of sad because it means that Boris is going to like ascend and no longer be with us anymore. But yeah, as in pear from a bowl of fruit. I mean, that's what it looked like to me. I don't really know exactly what it was. I just the the matchmaker brought it brought it by and I was like, oh, yeah, no idea what that is. But oh, yeah. Let me see. There's probably a name pear Tamagotchi. It's called. Oh, Wait, no. Ah! It might be Coochie Pachi. It might have been Coochie Pachi. <laughs> I think? Or no. Maybe it was a different one. Oh my gosh, I got a catfish? What the heck? Pop off. Tamagotchi character. Pear. 
No, 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 no. It was this one. Papa Pachi. Everybody, open Google and look up Papa Pachi. Because I can't put it on screen. It looks like... Yeah, it's it's. it was a pair named Papa Pachi. I don't know if this makes it better or no. I have no reference for this. I don't even know. I just like have... Oh, another catfish. I feel like these catfish must sell for a lot. That was actually my nickname in middle school. <laughs> Papa Pachi. <laughs> That makes sense, yeah? That looks nothing like a pear. No, no, no. When it's on the screen, I swear it looked like a pear. You'll see. I'm making like a video. I thought it would be kind of fun to do to do a video of like raising my Tamagotchi. So I'm working on it. You'll see. You'll all see. It looked like a pear. Okay, I have catfish. I have so many catfish and it's, it's like raining really hard. So I'm going to give a gift to Gordy. Eh? Wait, he does look kind of like a pear. See, it's different. The drawing is different than like what it looks like on the screen, you know? A hundred days of Tamagotchi. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm doing. It's so fun. Except like more, some days I'm more involved than others as a parent, which I guess is just kind of how parenting goes, I guess. But like some days, like I am there tending to their every need. I'm like feeding them before they can even get hungry. And then other days I like wake up at one in the afternoon and it's like sitting in a bunch of its own poop and like dying. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to play a game with you right now. I'm just going to feed you like five puddings. But I think it's been going well, overall. So, yeah. <laughs> Papa Pachi is obtained when Kuchi Pachi marries Mukugechi or Nemuchi. Yeah, these words. There's a lot. Oh, 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 oh. She's on the move. She's on the move. Wait, no, she's not. Eh, <laughs> Take it. No, no, you're not. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. What the, the, the? Ooh, just like one frame. Goodness. Hello, Mars. Oh my gosh. Welcome, welcome. We're talking about Coochie Pachi, the Tamagotchi. <laughs> oh my gosh, thanks for stopping in. Hi. Gavin moved. I can't take it anymore. And I'm not giving Gavin a catfish. Oh my gosh. Suck it, Gavin. Wait, you can have the Masu, though. <gasps> Ooh. Goodness. This is a lot. Americans have weird pears? I don't know. Thank God I made it in time for Papachi the Tamagotchi. <laughs> Yeah, we, we have very deep conversations in the, in the stream chat. <laughs> oh my gosh, another planet named person. Yeah, we got Pluto, Mars. Soon we'll have the whole solar system. <laughs> oh my gosh. A pear is a pretty distinctive shape. It looks like a light bulb. I swear it looks different on the screen. You just gotta see it. I can't explain. It looked like a pear. Or may I also like just woke up, so maybe it didn't look like a pear, and I was just like, alright. Bum 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 bum. Sweet Nina. Okay, I feel like Lumina's gonna be playing the piano and we're not gonna be able to gift her, and I hate that about her. But also like good for her that she's talented. Oh, <gasps> she's not? Oh my gosh. I'm so wrong. Wait, 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 fish. Okay. You just woke up? No, no, no. <laughs> like, when I was looking at the Tamagotchi, I just... That was when... Yeah. I feel like she's not going to accept a gift. Oh my god. I 
feel like I just want a cat so bad and Ramana does not want to be my friend. But that's okay. It's 3 p.m. It is 6 for me. Wow, it's been so long. But we're almost done. Oh my gosh. We only have this day and tomorrow and then we are done with the summer. Clifford is screaming. Clifford, come here. The door is open. He just likes to scream. Sometimes I think that he really likes the sound of his own voice and I'm not kidding. Oh, Clifford! Clifford, he listened! Hi. Hi. Hello. So cute. I wish I could show you. <laughs> oh, he looks really cute today. I really wish I could show you, but you know. Clifford, everybody says hi. You have words you would like to say? No? Yeah. Okay, Vesta is in there. But yeah, I was telling a story. I totally lost my train of thought. But yesterday, Clifford attacked me. And I don't know why. And I didn't clip his claws recently. So he like scratched me really bad. Like really bad. Um, so that sucks. Did you know how to cook starchy veggies? No. Oh, I just got a recipe. A carrot and a turnip. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> what would you do if Clifford just started talking? I would probably just talk back. I talk to Clifford all the time anyway. Oh, there he goes. He's on the window now. Being a little window guy. I'm just going to give a flower. I'm not making milky soup today. All right. It's this rebel phase. It was rude and uncalled for. Like, I think he was hungry. Charlie, you're going to look at fall seeds. I bought like 60 sweet potatoes and that's kind of what I'm going with for this fall. <laughs> I'm just running around with a catfish. It's kind of funny to me. I think I wonder if there's new fish here because now that we have the copper rot. Uh, what? Chop chop. I have a new friend. Chicken! What'll you name it? What do we name it? It's a girl, by the way. Oh! Oh my gosh, we got a Neptune now. <laughs> I am the newest member in the solar system. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to... What were we going to name it? We were going to name it like... Uh... Long legs? Or was that our next... Uh... Our next cat or, or uh, sheep. I don't remember. I have no idea. I'll name it long legs anyway, even though it has very short legs. But that was the next <laughs> that was the next name we were going for. Boop. Look, it doesn't even have legs. It doesn't even have legs. <laughs> perfect. It's the perfect name. Oh, what a cutie noodle soup we'll name the next chicken noodle soup oh i kind of love the fact that we named a chicken that doesn't have legs long legs <laughs> okay do we get a new fish from here i have no idea oh 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 okay okay yeah no that's okay uh uh <laughs> All right, we're 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 rocking with it. You know, okay, okay. Thank you, Pui. Oh wait, no, shoot! I wanted to donate so that you could go to Coco Island. There you go. Pooey personal say we are engaged, Pooey, please. Goodness. I hope okay. I wanna see how close we are with Pooey. I wonder if we even have to give gifts anymore. Probably. Best uh mm -hmm. Ooh. 
we're close to Tay now. <gasps> Nina, we're like best friends with Nina, of course. Oh, we're like really good friends with Pooey too. Oh my gosh, no way. All right, I'll give another fish. Here, have the, the fish I just caught while you were like <laughs> literally glitching inside me. <laughs> Can Pooey be your best man? <gasps> I would absolutely love that. Oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. I don't think he can though. I want a new fish. I don't want the wakasagi. I want a new one. With my copper fishing rod. Come on, give me something good. And we should check the ocean too. But we got a catfish from the pond? <laughs> oh, a little wakasagi. Okay, maybe this isn't... Maybe we don't have a new thing there. I love the music plays for four seconds and then I go down closer to the beach and it's like, do, do, do. Oh, nope. Nope, we're done. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a playlist the next time. Don't you worry. All right. Maybe new fish at the beach. Okay, I've become the fish. Let's see. Anything? I want to get some, like a good fish that sells for a lot of money. That would be great. The catfish seems like it would sell for a lot, but maybe that's just like my stardew brain that's kind of biasing me. Can this fish please? These lines of flowers always feel like you're walking into a trap or something. You're so right about that. It really is. It's like somebody's just leading me into some devilish little trap. Oh! Wow, the bream looks really different in Stardew. I don't know. <laughs> it's just me. Wow, that's a big one. I feel like that's gotta sell for a lot of money, right? Oh, Van's gonna be so excited. This is great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mars. Thank you so much. Never played a game with fishing where catfish didn't sell for lots of money. Mm-hmm. It's just logic. Why do the fish look so defeated? What do you mean? This is a perfectly happy little guy. <laughs> this one has like a funny eyeball. He's just kind of like... Bleh. They do look a little defeated, actually. Now that I think about it, kind of right. They're probably defeated because I have defeated them and I have caught them. Ba -ba -da -do. <gasps> Wait, I fished up calamari? <laughs> what? Isn't that like a dish made of squid? Am I stupid? I thought that like calamari is made of squid and that's a squid. Like, the is it already fried? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> uh, that's over it. That's just a squid. Also, calamari is delicious. Yeah, I'm confused, but that's okay. We're getting some really good fish from the ocean, though. What the heck? We got a squid. We got a bream thing that is huge looking. This is going well for us. Soon to be calamari. Yeah, it's pre-calamari. That just seems like a translation error thing. Okay, we got some pretty good fish. I'm not going to lie to you. That was fantastic. I've had calamari before, and I don't really like fish, but I actually thought that the calamari was really good. Mostly because there was like some sauce that it was served with, and I just dipped it in that. And it was basically just like miscellaneous fried thing in sauce. Also, I'm... Am I the only one that feels like Daryl and Gustafa being friends is like... That was the last thing on my bingo card. Like, I, what is going on? Why are you here? They just seem so polar opposite. Fancy running into you here? Yeah, for real. What's up? Didn't expect to find me here? Not at all. Okay, I mean, he even knew. I shipped them. Yeah, I kind of do too. But I like Gustafa and Nami too. In a weird, weird way.
Okay. That went well. I don't know. I don't remember if I gave Gary a fish. I don't know if I did. We'll give him one again. Can't believe you're from New England and you don't like seafood. I... It's not that I don't like it per se. I'm just very particular about it. Like, I like salmon and I like lobster and I like crab. But I've just had so much bad seafood that it... Like, I don't know. Like, fish that smell like fish? Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. No, no. But then other fish, I'll eat. Like, I really like fish and chips. And, like, I like a lot of stuff that has fish in it. But I just can't take it when the fish is bad. Probably because I'm from New England, so I'm, like, privileged <laughs> in terms of fish. You can get bad seafood in Maine? You can get bad... Yeah, for sure. You can get bad seafood anywhere. I feel like that's something that I've learned, is that you always tend to think that, like food is better in the place where it's from or like the place where it's most popular but sometimes it's actually the opposite because like having that food be the most popular means that more people are going to try and like cook it and sell it which means that there's more options which means that there's some that are really bad <laughs> does that like make sense i've kind of learned that in a very weird way <laughs> fish and chips is a classic i'm a big fish and chips fan i really liked it eh go go eh if anybody's gotten fish and chips at that place that's next to uh shrek's adventure uh, <laughs> next to the thames in london we've eaten the same fish and chips because that was where i got it and i was like this is really good oh my gosh there's a pluto now we legitimately have the whole solar system. This is great. Oh, and I obtained five types of fish and three birds. And I had an animal born on the farm. Wow, we got a lot of wonders today. And you're totally right. I have to put another fertilized egg in there. Boop. This egg will hatch in a few days. I sure hope so. This is very un-British to say, but I don't like fish and chips. Really? I mean... I just kind of like drown it in vinegar and I really like vinegar. But then I think that the fish tastes really good in vinegar. But I get why people wouldn't like it. I don't judge. You know? It's just kind of weird that way. Dang it. I just want summer's love. <laughs> oh, the little harvest sprites. Why are they so cute though? Okay. It is summer 10. The last day of summer. So let's freaking go. Oh, these turnips definitely look a bit more alive than the last ones. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely, I think, what the problem was now that I think about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we should brush. I didn't brush yesterday. There you go. The sheep is starting to look puffy, but it's not like shearable puffy yet. Charlie, I'm so mad at you right now. Rip turnips. Wait, do they not grow in the fall? Oh, nuts. Wait, wake up. Why are you sleeping? You were just awake. Wait, no, no, no. I'll snuggle with it and it'll get mad. And then I'll milk it because it's awake. No! <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> no! Oh. I saw it. I was waiting. It woke up and the minute its eyes opened, I, I milked it. Oh my gosh. Charlie ruins turnips no matter what the game is. Have I ruined turnips in Stardew? Probably, honestly. Uh, okay. No eggies. Perfect. Ooh, I should probably refill that food, but you know what? I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, it is raining. It is summer 10. Let us give some little gifties out. Oh, I totally missed. Okay. Okay. 
and do a little talky talky soil around here drains water pretty well well that's good to hear and then we got sully here milk there you go stock market flashbacks oh my gosh you're so right they're just wait or well you'll wait you have to wait a little longer but i've had this uh eighth month of animal crossing done for a while i just haven't been able to post it because i'm like trying to schedule things so that i have time to do other bigger projects but i just like was working on the ninth month of animal crossing today and kind of like finishing it up and i swear like 90 percent of that video is just about me failing at the stock market so perfect i would love to like succeed one day and just like get a bunch of money i don't know how people do it i really don't but -da -da -da. the rain makes the world look so bad oh no it looks okay for me it's not the worst honestly i feel like it, like minecraft is one of the games i think that i've played and just been like wow like rain just cannot be on Do, 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 do. All right, we gotta say hello to Celia. Hello, my darling. All right. Every day's so much brighter now. Yay! I'm not buying anything. I already have 60 yam seeds. Okay, here is a flower. For my flower. Oh, there is. Then it just buy low, sell high. How much more complicated <laughs> than that does it get? I have no idea. Wait, about what? I'm so confused. I've said so many words. Oh, I'm here to chat. Okay, Matthew. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy we didn't marry Matthew. <laughs> this is so so boring okay have an egg oh the turnip stock market yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It, it, well it, it's like complicated because if you buy it generally even if you buy it at around like 99 bells per turnip it's like like because it's so random uh, how do i describe this so like you go into nooks and you check the price every morning and then every time at noon and it like changes in value just like completely randomly so you can't really like predict how it's gonna work but basically i think you just have to like buy them when they're at a low enough price and then just pray and if you get something that's even slightly higher just get rid of them just sell them so it's like in principle not super complicated but then in like in practice it's just really annoying you're greedy i'm not even it's not even like i go in and the price isn't high enough for me it's like i buy them and every time i go in it's like like i buy them for 99 bells per turnip and i go in every time and it's always like 60 bells per turnip i'm like are you kidding me how do people do this it's so hard <laughs> i don't know why sold mine at over 600 once that is just rubbing salt on the wound. Is he looking at it? Is he not going to take my flower? Oh my gosh. I wish that like I could move them in Stardew. I'm like clipping through him. Oh, <laughs> he's moving. Beautiful. Who are you going to marry? We're actually engaged to the, the wonderful Celia. So, Celia. Okay, I don't like Gordy. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just kind of like weird. <laughs> they bribe Daisy May. You know, I wouldn't even be shocked. Like, that's the only answer that makes sense in my brain at this point because I have tried so hard. You got to use one of the predictor websites. I've even, I've even used the predictor website, and every time it's like, oh, there's a chance that it could go to 400 bells a turnip. I'm like, no way. And then I like the next day I get a different price and I put it in and it's like, oh, actually your turnips are never increasing in price. I'm like, all right, cool. 
All right. Give me a cat, Ramana. What? You're not busy. Oh. Okay, literally, she's like conducting and then she stops for a moment. I gift her something and then she's fine. This is ludicrous. Okay, a little fish for you. No, no. Oh, I thought I was giving it to the fish. That was horrifying for a moment. Okay, there's that. I feel like Lumina is not going to take it, so I'm just going to leave. She's bound to improve with how much she practices. That is gold. This is true. That is a little bit cold. Sorry, my brain was just like, ooh, colors. Nice. Yeah, I feel like that was a little bit rude. I'm going to say it. I don't know if Nina and Gary are out in this weather. No, they're not. Okay. <gasps> Vesta's in here. Why are you here? That's so cute. Okay, fishy. So cute. I'm just like taking in their house. Why is it so adorable? It's like annoying how cute it is. Mine is ugly compared to this. <laughs> For you, sweet Nina. steal the cats fast they're so small i could probably just put them in my whoops i can probably just put them in my pocket i i should but i oh okay i don't think i'm allowed every so often i'll come here to drop off some fresh veggies oh that makes sense i see them in the corner i love that tatami floor it is really i like the vibe of it for sure i want to i i wonder how much we can like play a role in the remodeling of our house or if there's just like a standard design that it switches to that would be kind of fun if we could sort of choose every time i come to give him a gift he says the same thing about like shaved ice and honey or something i want them to have new dialogue but maybe they think that about me maybe they're like she just comes in and gives us a flower every day i want her to have a new gift Okay. Um, okay, Nami's being rude, but I'm going to look past it. Here's a fossil. Do, 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 do. Oh my, I love that you can act, just give a cold no to Nina if you accidentally try to give something. Everyone else's option is like, sorry, I didn't mean to. And Nina says just no. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't even notice that. I know some of them are kind of like rude. Like with Nami or so, I th or like with with Pui especially, it, it it shocks me how rude it is. Where it's like, oh, is that fish for me? And it's like, no, it's an item for me. Like, geez, you're not gonna share? Like, <laughs> chill. Wow, it is like coming down. It's raining cats and dogs. I'm gonna go dig things. Oh, Chihuahua! It's a Chihuahua day, everybody. How did I overlook this? Carter, give me that shovel now. Oh, history awaits. Okay, dig. This is great. Are you excited for spooky season? I am. I like the fall a lot. I'm excited to, that it's getting a little bit colder. Like every, that kind of like transition between the summer and fall just makes me really happy. It's like, oh yeah, it's the best time of the year. I want to I was thinking of like it would be really fun to do kind of like a Halloween themed game to play on the channel. I thought that that could be kind of fun, but then I don't really know what we could play. Like I'm not a horror game player. I don't really feel like like peeing my pants live, you know? That would kind of suck. But I think I don't know. A game that I've been thinking that I really wanted to play on the channel that would be really fun is like uh professor layton because it's like kind of a puzzle game which is kind of fun it's kind of nostalgic but then it's also kind of like sp like i don't know spoopy like there's like a mystery and like i don't i think there's a murder or something i don't know 
What about Graveyard Keeper? I've heard about Graveyard Keeper, but I don't really know what it is, but that might work. Or yeah, Luigi's Mansion could be fun. Yeah, that would be that would be kind of fun to just have like I don't know, like a I don't a week of Halloween fun games. That'd be cool. Play Go Go Hamster Chef. It's a horror game. What? Night in the Woods. Ooh, Mars. I need to look that up. I've heard of Night in the Woods, but I don't really know what it is. If you recommend it, I trust your recommendation. Graveyard Keeper is fun, but also janky. Hmm. I don't know anything about it. I'll have to look into it more. But yeah, I'm not like a horror person. I've been traumatized. I'm not a horror game player, so I don't really know. Like Five Nights at Freddy's, I don't even know what that game is. But just the thought of it scares me. Like, I think the scariest game I've ever played is probably Slender. <laughs> Ooh, old fossil. I thought that might have been a fork, but then it wasn't a fork and I'm a little sad, but it's okay. You would love Night in the Woods, especially the characters and the vibes. I gotta look into it. I'm writing that down. There's so many options. I don't want to spend any days at Freddy's. Yeah. Anybody named Freddy. I don't know about them. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I'm literally related to somebody named Freddy, but it's fine. They'll never hear it. Slenderman is terrifying. At the time it was terrifying, but then sometimes I see screenshots of it and I'm just like, hmm. This looks a little less scary than it felt at the time. <laughs> Which I guess like a screenshot isn't the same as like having the experience. My name's Freddy. See, Freddy's a good, Freddy's a good name. Just not that Freddy. Oh, there's no forks here. Why is the Chihuahua lying to me? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 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 Five nights at Charlie. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my gosh, and Camille, Camille, Camille? I hope it's Camille. It's hard to see from here. But thank you so much for becoming a member. I'm sorry I missed that. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That is just too kind of you. Thank you and welcome to Sprigdom. We were talking about horror games so much that it just I just missed it entirely. <laughs> he needs to understand personal space. Carter has a problem with this for sure but also what the heck no forks for us the chihuahua straight up lied and i'm miffed we didn't really find anything yeah he's upset with us okay that's fine um would you like milk forkless once again that's just my life a forkless little life i have and i'm so sad about it wait there's no flora where'd she go she might be in the tent i'm too lazy oh my gosh i don't know why i'm sneezing so much today my brain is like it's time to sneeze and i just don't want to all right it is is there anything we have to do before our last day of summer? I don't really know. Hmm. Here's a fish. Did I give you a fish? I don't know. Yeah, see, it's an item for me. Like, geez, so rude. And I think we should check for the recipe. I didn't even know. Last time I thought that like every time you talk to them, they give you a recipe, but then sometimes they, ooh, darn good soup. Sometimes they just don't. It, it seems kind of random, but I want to check with them more. I don't know if it matters that much to get the recipes in all honesty. I don't really like cook them <laughs> that much. The only thing I cook around here is milky soup, but I don't know. Might be good to have. 
Oh my good gravy. Ooh, it's so dark out. Do do do. How do you get the stuff in your bag? You're just yeeting it behind you? That's a fantastic question. I think I just like believe and pray and it just happens. Which is very fortunate for me. <laughs> okay. Muyo, are you ready for milk number two time? Yes. Thank you. Oh, uh, where's the fodder? Okay, there it is. Eh. Put that there. Put that there. Muyo. Muyo. I got one. I got two. Okay, perfect. Last day of two milk, I think. Oh, don't say these things. That is horrifying. What am I going to do without double milk? And pick up oh, another fertilized egg. Oh, we're going to have so many chickens, guys. It's going to be honestly a little ridiculous. <gasps> that was such a cute little... Meow, meow. I loved that. I like the little baby chickens in this game. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. Anything else we need to do? The turnips are growing. I don't know if they'll finish, but... That's so... Oh, that sucks that the other ones, like, died. I didn't expect that. What the heck? We can train the dog. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Okay, spin. Good boy. Jump. Woo! Woo! So talented. Alrighty-o. Now, let's see. I think that's pretty much everything. We're almost, like, full happiness meter with celia we're kind of getting there lumina we have been kind of slacking on gustafa i mean everyone is getting up there really the only one we have to work on is like lumina hugh we haven't given any gifts to hugh he won't accept anything oh and charlie charlie and cole i like never see otherwise we're doing pretty good it doesn't look like... I don't know what these paw print things are. <laughs> I don't know how, like, what the point of, like, training the dog is. But, you know, I, I have a good time with it. So it's fine. And I don't know how many... We've collected 13 of 88 wonders. Which is actually a good amount. Oh, shoot. We failed these. That's so upsetting. Well, that's fine. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's where we'll end off for today. We finished up the summer... That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like, I, yeah, I feel like that's good. I like want to keep playing because I love it so much, but then it's like, oh, I have so much other stuff to do, so I shouldn't. But yeah, I definitely am going to keep playing this either like tomorrow or the next day or something. But like usual, if you want to be notified, then you should be in the Discord. I have notifications for when I do streams or when I post videos is pretty helpful and yeah i really appreciate you bleh, i really appreciate you guys all being here i know that like this is a new game and so it's kind of like oh i don't know but i appreciate it and this is like a game i'm having a lot of fun playing so it makes me really happy that you guys like hang out anyway it's been a good time and yeah other than that oh wait i can do a little camera action i haven't used the camera really we could do it to sign off uh wait oh no 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 everything is messed up everything is messed up the timer oh here okay goodbye everybody see you later bye